Good afternoon, backgammon fans. Bill Riles, Tara Mendocino, Ace Point Backgammon broadcasting from Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The 2023 Oasis International Backgammon Cup. Today is round three of the main events. And on stream one here on the Backgammon Galaxy YouTube channel is a wonderful match between two great players. Zdenek Ziska from the Czech Republic, one of the best players in the world. Young guy, 24 years old, quite personable, um, energetic, enthusiastic, you name it. Against Frank Talbot from the United States. Uh, an old pro, been around forever, and is quite an accomplished player in his own right. Recently at Skopje, the WBGF uh, World Team Championship and World Individual Championship, um, Frank was the de facto captain. Uh, Candace Marion was the honorary captain of the American team. Uh, Frank was the playing captain, if you will. And the um, Americans... Uh, Performed admirably and finished uh, finished second. Um, so quite a performance. He's uh, he's playing well and has uh, been playing for forty years plus. And uh, this will be an interesting match. Uh, now over on stream two, we're going to have a match of two. And let me go back. Frank and uh, Ziska are both one in one, one win, one loss in this Swiss format to date. Over on stream two, we've got. Uh, two undefeated players, both 2-0, and oh, and that one is Oliver Squire of the uh, United Kingdom, young uh, university student on sabbatical right now playing backgammon, and uh, his opponent will be a gentleman from here in the United uh, Arab Republic, or United Arab Emirates, I'm sorry, is uh, Jamil Dow, uh, so uh, a hometown boy representing uh, the UAE in this tournament and doing well. So that'll be uh, over on the Ace Point Backgammon YouTube channel. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have commentary on that channel yet because everyone is playing. <laughs> so after this third round, this is, you know, three lives and you're out. So after this third round, some... Uh, some people will start dropping out, so perhaps we'll have uh, some uh, potential player commentators to uh, help staff uh, stream two and or co-commentate on stream one. Um, so we're looking forward to it. Now this, as I said, is a, a Swiss format. Three losses until you're... No longer, uh, Oliver. Okay. All right. You're being streamed, so go in there, turn turn right, and uh, uh, go in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, there's Oliver Squire was just showing up and walked behind me, so I uh, momentarily <laughs> distracted to get him to the uh, streaming area. So uh, again, this is a Swiss format. Three losses and you're out. Now, you know, everybody uh, obviously is intent on winning this tournament, but they also have some additional uh, incentive here in that the uh, the final match of this tournament, the final final, will be played uh, remotely. <laughs> it will be played at the top of the tallest building in the world, the most famous uh, building here in Dubai, the Burj Khalifa. So uh, everyone's excited with the potential of uh, making the final and playing uh, at the top of the Burj Khalifa. So we're uh, we're excited about that. Now this match uh, again, Zdenek Ziska, Frank Talbot. Uh, we will have a live XG transcription. Justin Knoll is doing the uh, transcription, so you'll have the XG feed here as well. So. Uh, this will be fun. Let me, uh, Tara did not get my, uh, here we go, YouTube stream on day one. Okay, I got to go back over here. Pardon me, one moment. YouTube Galaxy. 
I got to turn it on here. As y'all know, I like to um, kind of have an interactive um, commentary process. And uh, so I follow the chat line. So if you uh, viewers, if you have questions, comments, critiques, suggestions, want to hear your name announced over the air, just uh, type in there in the chat and uh, I follow that and when, as I can and when appropriate, I will uh, attempt to, uh, to answer your questions. So uh, they're trying, I don't know exactly what they're doing here. They're uh, waiting for this to get, uh, get kicked off. Got to get all the pieces into play. There it is. Uh, so an opening uh, four three. Z uh, Zdenek is playing the black checkers on the bottom of the board. He's on the right of the player cam uh, picture there in the top right corner. Frank Talbot playing the red at the top and is on the left on your player cam. So uh, here we go. Nice five three. So. Frank has uh, back to back eights, which allows him to hit, send back uh, yet a fourth checker, and, and he's extricated himself. So he's got a significant um, racing advantage to this point. But Zdenek has uh, two anchors in Frank's home board. So this is probably going to be a uh, you know, somewhat uh, long uh, game. Now, as you, you notice, they're, they each started with 14 minutes. So they're using. Uh, where most of us are familiar with um, 2.12 second or 2 minute and 12 second time settings, they're using uh, effectively a minute and a half and 12 seconds here. So for a nine point match, they're each starting with 14 minutes. So a little bit quicker uh, time settings to uh, keep the match moving or keep the tournament moving, shall we say. We've got a lot of rounds ahead of us. I think there's four rounds today and then the potential of like seven rounds tomorrow so it's it's going to be a lot of backgammon play so uh in a little bit of a hitting exchange this game's still trying to to find its personality as it were slot king vegas villain who that could be any number of people's, probably Aaron. What's up, Aaron? So, uh, three, four, Zdenek, uh, you know, he's got to try to uh, to get his home board built, so he's slotting the five. Frank, uh, three, four, is, doesn't give him much flexibility here, so he'll just play to the six. XG would like him to hit, and he's, uh, well, now he's moved it back to the 10, contemplating another four, but plays to the to the seven. Bit of an error there. Four twos, Zdenek can uh, make the four point. Now I will, uh, I know these guys both well, so I'll probably refer to Frank and to Z or ZZ during the uh, the match here, just to make it a little bit simpler. Okay, so again, uh, Z's got the four-point board already. Frank's escaped everything, but he has little flexibility of play. 6-4 uh, uh, doesn't really play well at all. He's going to play to the three. He doesn't want to bury any more checkers. 5-1. Now it's kind of we'll we'll see here. I think both of these guys in it uh, will play with pace. They both play uh, relatively quickly. They are certainly capable of uh, judiciously using time when it's necessary in important uh, situations of difficult roles or difficult cube decisions. I'm sorry. What? Oh, um, between games, Tara was noticing the the boards are right, right now. Tara, right now, you okay? So anyway, um, Z lets it go. Frank's up one zero. Pop 
apologize. Sometimes uh, sitting out here in the pre-function area, a lot of people around me at times talking to me or, or behind me, and uh, so there can be distraction, and I apologize when that occurs. Okay. 4-3 for Frank. It's going to split him down. Three one. Now this is. I guess he'll just make the five point while he has the opportunity. I'm gonna turn off the sound on his laptop. I'm hearing myself uh, with a slight delay. Okay. So four two five Frank. Now here we go. Uh, he's gonna hit and then has to come down if that's his play. XG wants, <laughs> excuse me, wants him wants him to make the four point, but he he passes on that. Three two by Zdenek, he's going to come in and and hit. Frank uh, obliges by dancing, and there's the cube. He lets it go, so we're at one one. Now again, both of these guys uh, play a fairly fast game. Uh, Zdenek is a renowned speed gammon player and prefers to play speed gammon. Uh, pace, if you will, and Frank is certainly capable of uh, doing that himself, and that uh, this style of play is going to um, test the transcriber on occasion. Now, as we can see on the XG feed, uh, Z's playing at 262 after the first two games, and Frank at 511. It's probably... Uh, about normal for Zdenek, perhaps a touch high for Frank, but small sample in the first two games. So again, uh, that was kind of a fast-paced game and fast-paced end of that game. So I think uh, Justin's going to have to uh, make a correction or catch up a little bit, and we'll proceed with game three. Okay, here we go. 5-3 makes the point. 6-1 makes the point. Boxes. Pretty much a forced play there as Frank had already made the bar. 2-1. Now it's kind of interesting and of course uh, I guess a bit of uh, homerism here or shall we say nationalistic pride, or however we want to phrase it. But I was talking to a couple of people uh, before the match started, Ray Fogerlin, who knows these guys well and is a great player in his own right. He he said, tell, tell the audience that uh, Ray said they can take it to the bank. Frank Talbot is going to win this match. So uh, we'll see how prescient... Ray is. Uh, Zdenek certainly probably has to be the favorite, but uh, it's uh, it's not by a wide margin. There's a nice 4-6, which puts two up. Zdenek's going to uh, now. Is this uh, he plays on? It was too good uh, to consider doubling. Now does he bring uh, he brings two down and and keeps them diversified, so gives him more opportunity. Um, now, if he was too good, he remains too good. Uh, that's unfortunate from his perspective. He'd like to, uh, would have liked to have made the four or five point, but the roll doesn't allow him to do so. So now he's uh, contemplating what is his best option, you know, fewest number of hits, most number of uh, rolls that will allow him to point where he not to be hit, but... Uh, Nice roll by Frank, uh, allowing him to make a second anchor here. There's the, now as we can see, Z's up 72 hips, but Frank has a 1-4 game and a lot of timing. So uh, no double take, pretty big no double. But, uh, you know, part of the, the game of backgammon is, uh, you know, psychological and uh, game plan as much as you know beyond the skill beyond the dice sometimes so this might be you know Zdenek um, testing Frank's uh, metal here and uh, Frank takes it up I think Frank has uh, seen it all so he's not going to be intimidated by that early cube
Okay. Aaron thinks Ray's wrong by a lot. You probably get some action there, although Ray's got a great match going on himself. Uh, that was kind of a tough choice for our second stream at this hour, but uh, our other choice that we, uh, you know, unfortunately we only had two streams, but Ray Fogerland's playing former world champ Ellie Roymey in this round. So another great match, great pairing. So, uh, let's see, Frank with the 3-2 to play, so he hits and 4-1, probably not volunteer it, he'll step up, yeah. 3-2, yep. Frank can do that. Now, it's going to be kind of interesting, you know, uh, Zdenek still yet has that huge... Uh, Pip count lead, and it just got a lot larger, so 83 pips now. Frank doesn't mind uh, recirculating another checker and trying to, uh, you know, build a board, buy some time. A second, two, five in a row by Zdenek, sending yet another Frank checker back, dancing. The Frank with the two anchors, he's in this game for a long time, and of course, holding a two cube uh, um, sustains the game as well. Zdenek can't uh, cash it, as it were. He's just got to play it out. And we see that uh, ZZ, that one early cube there, uh, which was like a point one six error, kind of blew his. Uh, PR up a little bit, but uh, rest assured he will work that PR back down into two or three range in all likelihood before this is uh, before this game is or this match is over. Okay. <coughs> Threes. Again, this a real. Uh, hitting exchange Frank is uh, pretty much uh, you know for the foreseeable future has some control of uh, Zdenek's home board yeah there is uh, for us uh, you could pop down uh, you can watch any of the live matches uh, in the playing room there there's also some chairs uh theater style behind uh, my location here is an example so you can watch stream one or stream two live sitting behind me and you can hear the uh, the commentary uh, on a speaker we have here so uh, sure drop by yeah several uh, several people you know and it you know again all a matter of personal preference and perspective uh, a number of people last night during the matches didn't uh, express a bit of disfavor with the checkers. Um, you know, so be it. They're fortunately um, pretty easily distinguishable on the uh, on the playing surface, and we have some good lighting in there, so we don't really have any checker glare problems, and we don't have any dice glare problems, which is sometimes a hazard for streamed matches, but. We're using our uh, special magic dice that Tara and I have developed that uh, are effectively anti-glare. So uh, it's working out well for us. Now again, this has started at 1 o'clock uh, here locally, so much of the American audience perhaps is still in the bed. It was, uh, what would that have been, uh, 5 a.m. Central, 6 a.m. Eastern, so... Uh, Frank might not have met as many of his uh, countrymen watching as as he might due to the hour, but we thought it was the the best match uh, to stream. Uh, Zdenek has a a large following around the world. Great young player, I think he's twenty four years old. Um, plays a superb game, plays a fairly fast paced game, so it's. Uh, you know, it's uh, fun and instructive to watch and certainly not going to be boring. So, Frank, uh, 
you know, he's going to have to start burying some checkers here unless he uh, gets some out. He would like to roll a a three and get some of those extra spares. Uh, you know, he's got those four four spares on the ace point anchor there, so he he would like to start uh, moving some there. Yeah, Sebastian, you you are correct. ZZ uh, Zidanik makes uh, a number of video lessons. Um, you can find them online. Um, does a lot of podcasting video and vlog casting, I guess would be the appropriate term. He makes videos while he's here. Um, great ambassador for the game. Okay, so, well... Frank doesn't necessarily want to give up that anchor, but he may have to here. Uh, he's just going to go ahead and make the three-point. He may have to give up the anchor on the next roll, but uh, set of threes, that's not going to play perfectly by any means. He can sustain it, but isn't uh, doesn't have much flexibility on his next roll to perhaps uh, clear that uh, seven-point. There, Frank gets the, the threes in spades to get those spares in a position where he can uh, where he can move. Now, he's just going to have to probably play 5-3 here. Now, Frank needs something larger than a three to, to move some of those checkers, and he, there he is. Two of them have escaped, so he's got plenty of play, plenty of timing were uh, Zdenik to be required to leave a shot here. And now, with that three, he has very little flexibility. So, uh, let's see what happens. Frank with a lot of fours to play. Going to kind of flood the outfield. So, he has, uh, should Zdenik get hit, he's going to have plenty of containment potential. Um, words that didn't, if hit, to uh, enter and uh, try to come back around. Now looking over uh, stream two, Oliver Squire and Jamil Dow are playing. I can see uh, a stream two uh, TV next to me here, and that's 2-0 Oliver early on. Okay, there's a, oh, what a nice roll, 5-4 that enables him to clear the 7 point, but he's still got some work ahead of him to clear the 5 and the 6 without leaving a shot. So, uh, I'm sorry? Oh, really? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I saw, uh, oh, there's the dreaded 6-5 in that position. So now Frank's got, hits them both. Um... So now, we're, we've, uh, and he's positioned, well positioned himself to uh, contain anything. Um, Zdenik, Zdenik's got two off, so there's no gammon potentials for Frank. So it's just going to be a matter at some point in time, in all likelihood, Frank's going to have a recube here. It's just a matter of determining when that best is the case. Now, he can... Uh, how does he do this? He can hit that thing, but he can also just bring a, a lot of builders into play in the in his home outfield there. He's going to hit it. Now he'll probably maybe come down to the eight, could come to the six. Comes to the six, gives him two builders for both the one and the four, so that's probably the, the appropriate play. Two, five. So now Frank's getting close to that recube. Uh, there it comes. Redouble and a a pretty good pass, and that was uh, you know, and you could see that potential developing when uh, ZZ got stripped on the what was that four five or five six seven I guess it was, and uh, you know you're just a a victim of the gods as far as the dice rolls go, and he rolled the. The worst roll he could at one point there at 6-5. He uh, had to leave the two blots so Frank could hit with one, two, four, five. So <laughs> he had few misses. And um, 27, what was that? He had 32 hitters, I think. So that would have been, uh, what, almost 90%. So this one's going to be, a, and it is an XG drop. It's It would be a... 
you know, Zdenek's uh, weighing his um, his future potential here, but uh, you know, Frank's got uh, got the cavalry with the artillery lined up in position to uh, to contain uh, Zdenek here, so. I think anyone would be hard pressed, and of course we've seen that XG evaluates this as a as a relatively big drop. Only one bottom player on the right. Players. All players who finished already their matches, kindly you are not allowed to talk to players who are already playing now. So please let them continue. Is that down uh, twice? You can observe them both only. Yeah. Thank you. Ah. Okay. Oh, he takes it. Wow. Big drop and he takes it. So a bit, a bit surprising, but that's one thing about these, uh, elite players. Um, uh, <clears throat> they're not shy. And like I, I use the uh, adage at times that, uh, you know, people talk about in various games and sports, you can't be afraid to lose. And that's certainly true in backgammon. You can't be afraid to lose. But by the same token, you can't be afraid to win. So you have to, uh, you know, go at it both ways. This is, this is going to be a tough win. But look at this, a dance. Now, if Frank can make the ace and escape a checker, now that he gets them both out, so he's gonna. I think he just brings them both out. You don't want three blots in play. It's twenty bucks an hour. You know that, Sergio. I said that's twenty bucks an hour. You know, charging. No. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Okay, so look at this. Now he doesn't doesn't hit anything. Amazing. Jacques says that the take was correct, but our uh, XG transcription showed the take was a big error. Um, so we'll see. The XG transcription, Jacques said it was uh, a big pass, like 165 or something of that nature. So just then he had two pretty good errors here. He had a pretty good error on an early cube and then a pretty good error on this take. So one of Frank's biggest fans, Carol Joy Cole, just texted me. I had sent her a message that Frank would be on the line. I didn't know if she would be up this early, but uh, she just texted me. She found it. She's watching and uh, cheering on, uh, cheering on Frank. So uh, welcome, welcome, Carol. Good to have you in the audience here today. Thought you might want to see uh, this match, Frank and uh, and ZZ. Doesn't get much better than that. Four players. We will resume our round from the master category and the intermediate at three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay, so Frank, uh, this is one of those roles where there's a incredible number of uh, permutations. So he's going to go ahead. It looks as though his inclination is to kind of complete his home board somewhat and then maintain uh, quite a bit of uh, outfield control as these two. Ch um checkers try to come around now Frank oh he can hit but I think he's gonna safety one of those blots you you uh, you know Frank's got a four and a half point board with two uh, oh he's gonna come down and hit I'm I'm not sure about that's what XG wants you to do yeah, it's a big error to hit so XG wants you to um you know to safety the one checker so it would 
it would prefer that rather than wherever that goes here. So, um, you know, what he's looking at doing, top left, clear off. Okay, so um, I think this, well, and of course we've seen the XG results, but this was my inclination anyway. You, you don't want to leave those two blots out there. Um, okay, so Frank picks that one up. Going to diversify even to a greater extent dance so now Frank's a favorite to make that two point does that gonna maybe come out to the 11 or the what would be 15 from Frank's perspective yeah so he just wants to advance those four back checkers position himself to to make the you know make his bar and then can just walk it home from there he needs to get out to the 13, yeah, which bears on the bar. The Denix just uh, treading water now on the bar. Now, Frank, uh, he can start the bar. There's no uh, no real danger. There's Zdenek only has a two-point uh, two board, and he has another blot over there, so... The good news for Zdenek is he got two checkers off, so he's not going to get gammoned. But uh, okay, Frank still uh, looking how he's just going to go ahead and close it out. Figures with uh, Zdenek with only uh, two checkers up and or two checkers off and one on the bar. Frank feels fairly confident in being able to bring this home. In fact, he's about a 95% uh, favorite at this point. Now here he just wants to bear in such that rolls like a double six uh, doesn't blot or a roll or two later here that a double five and a double six don't blot. So he's got to be uh, careful bringing him in. As you can see here, he's trying to keep an even number on his back check checker or two. Now you play both of those forward, probably, yes. Although XG liked the bringing it in, but uh, very little differential. Now he'll go to the to the six and the eight. Now, he, well, this is fine too. He's going to go into the five, which six and eight. Either way, this is actually accurate or best, but uh, it's a thin margin. Okay. Three six, so he's play that. And could have played off the five, but uh, perhaps would have uh, blotted earlier. Here he'd like to. Uh, now, does he take a second checker off, or does he, uh, okay. you know, prepare himself for the two for the big doubles, sixes or fives, and then a 4-1, which allows him to remove all of his spares. So, very advantageous roll, 5-6. He has four checkers off. Z dances. So, Frank's, uh, in all probability, well, the 4-1's not his best, but, uh, okay, Z's coming around. So, Table. Frank's going to uh, to win four here Table. to go up 5-1. So uh, maybe maybe Ray was uh, prescient here before the match, Carol uh, and others. Uh, Ray Fogerlin uh, effectively told me to tell the audience that he guaranteed a Talbot win. So uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Not a completely not Jen yet but uh, very close to Jen. Boom, that's it. So 5-1 five, one, uh, five, one Frank, and Z's had those two uh, two big uh, Q-bearers, one a double, one a take. And uh, 
playing um, quite a high PR for himself. Frank's playing probably a little higher than he might like, but he's playing 475, which is a, a, a nice PR. Z, uh, Z is going to be most unhappy with his uh, play to, the, to this point of the match. Three one, he can hit, steps <coughs> forward. N nice um, anchor by Zdenik. Nice anchor by Frank. Now, now both of these, uh, as I said earlier, leading in here, both of these guys have lost one match, so the. Neither will be eliminated with this, but the loser will have two losses. So uh, the loser will have his uh, back to the wall in this three-loss Swiss tournament. And if you lose three, you're eliminated from the potential of winning. There is a uh, last chance bracket on Sunday for those who've been eliminated. Okay, Zdenek has, uh, you know, has a four prime, so Frank's not... Uh, too excited about potentially uh, getting another checker hit and sent back. You can make the deuce point or you can come to the eight. He's going to come to the eight rather than, uh, you know, make bury some checkers with a two point and take away some builders should uh, that would apply should Zdenik uh, vacate the 20 point or with one of them anyway. Nice shake makes the point. Six five, so that's pretty much plays itself. Zdenik's getting to the point where he doesn't have too much flexibility here. Not many options with that shake. So again, he's uh, he's running out of timing. A six-five. Frank's going to make the the bar and probably put the spare on the eight. So uh, kind of a you can see they each have their uh, opponents four points. So it's kind of a standoff game. Okay, you can slot the ace and the deuce. Doesn't want to to run. He can't get around the corner where you to, where that had been a ten. He might have uh, considered that. Now he's going to play to the five probably. Ooh, not sure about that. In fact, uh, it's fairly large error. Eighty millipoints. Four five. So again. Uh, Frank rolls a nine, which doesn't allow him to uh, leave the 20 and get around the corner. Now just thinks really in a bind uh, play-wise. I, I might keep the anchor and play to the five, but and that's what uh, XG prefers. Not a huge differential, but... Uh, and it's interesting, you can see... Uh, Justin, with his uh, transcription of XG, he's really ad adept at, uh, you know, running some higher ply analyses quickly on the on the preferred roles. And this, uh, these are very fast gaming laptops that we use for the streaming and for this uh, transcription. So uh, very fast computers can uh, analyze these positions quite quickly. Okay, so uh, Frank has little option here, but to put him to the five six now, make the ace. Now Frank's kind of in a bind. Okay, he's going to play the deuce and the ace. I suspect. Yes. Very very thin. Uh, XG actually wanted to go six one, but it's only zero zero one differential. No double take. There's another big cue bear by uh, Zdenek and, and Frank. Obviously, has 
been to this rodeo before. He snaps that up hardly before it hits the belt. Five one. Mr. Simborg finishes up early and joins a, well, a I had good, good match. Here. I had good dice and got and got and won quickly, so here I am. Well you're two and one. That's great. Two and man. one is for me that's amazing. <laughs> wow, this is a real match. This is a good match. Zedenic has made three big cube errors. Oh. Wow. Which is unusual for him. I'll tell you my favorite Frank Talbot story real quick. When Joe Sylvester had was winning everything and they said he was interviewed, they said, Are you the best player in the world, you think? He says, I'm not sure I'm the best player in my apartment. He was living with Frank Talbot. <laughs> Okay, so uh, here we go. This uh, this is a, a pretty volatile little position there. That uh -huh. uh, now that that helped Z considerably oh, yeah. breaking breaking uh, Frank's board. But prior to that, had Frank rolled a seven or a, what was that seven ten twelve no seven twelve, um, and gotten hit. That could have. Uh, could have been for the match. Almost. Yeah. But, you know, see, is, Zedek is giving a lecture on Sunday on Cube. <laughs> he could <laughs> use these examples. Maybe, yeah, maybe he can uh, yeah, show, show us where he went wrong yeah. here. You know? For those of you who don't know, this is very uncharacteristic for Zedek. He's just an incredible player. And in Monte Carlo, I think he was his PRs were terrific. Well, he got to the final last year. Yeah, the, last, the year before last. Yeah, absolutely incredible. This is not characteristic of his game. Double, double shot. A double, double. And he got it. He got it. That's huge. That is huge. There could be some gammons here. Ooh. Ooh. In is big. So where does that go? I'm that coming out. Up there, so it's three or four. I think you come out. Yeah, you yeah. I'm coming out. Miss. That's what we call a direct miss. And uh, it's, I think so he's going to leave an indirect here. Leave the indirect. Safety the one. No, it's wrong. It's wrong. Oh, it wants to. You leave the one. Instead of the double indirect, uh, you can bring him home yet better. There you go. Wow. I would have gotten that wrong, I think. Why do I admit that? Uh oh, look at here. That's a, that's yeah. a great miss. <laughs> if you're going to miss, that's the one you want. So now it's... Uh, or Frank's got a... He's got a lot of wastage here. I don't think you recube at this score. I don't score. think he recube at this score. You'd be... Uh, oh, my God. It's close. It's yeah, actually close. Yeah, too. Wow. I don't think... I, I wouldn't send it and give uh, Zdenek... Uh, I don't know. You might send it against play a player it for the like... Play uh, one of the best in the world. You might send it. Frank's good at this. He knows EPC well. This is a classic EPC position. All that wastage, that's scary. It's really hard to figure. I could do this over the board in about an hour and a half. <laughs> so this is uh this is gonna be interesting. Wow. Oh, it rolled out to it rolled out to no redouble after he after he plus plus it. Takes that's actually a good roll. It's a good roll. Not many pips, but <laughs> yeah. it's four checkers. It's so. a good roll. With, with all that wastage, it's a really good roll. Yeah, he has less okay, wasted. So done. now, <laughs> now, after that. Uh huh. What about the re cube? Again, if it's me, I'm sure shipping it. <laughs> I think it's a ship. It's here, a pass. And a huge, and a Not pretty even big a take. pass. Not big, even a take. Big pass. 8% is his uh, winning chances. Hey, Mike. Calculating the take point, I would I would have thought the take point was close to that, but I guess it's higher. Well, that's right, because you can't recube for the match. Oh, wait a minute, four, eight. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can recube for the so match. So, what's his match equity when he passes? Yeah, it's it's a lot higher than eight percent. Okay, that's the easy way to do it. Now, what's he? Th uh, okay, so Frank's uh, doing the math. <gasps> Ooh, Frank. Looks like he's gonna. Uh, Frank. Seemed like his initial inclination. I'll bet you was he to doubles. Roll on, I'm but. I'm a betting man. I'll bet you he turns the cube. Frank's playing poker right now. I think Frank is playing poker. There's no selling reason not to. Here, you know? Yeah, I think he's selling. <laughs> I think I think he's selling. I know Frank is just is a lot. He's a smart guy. You know, he's he, he's a pharmacist. He retired, 
and he's now a teacher. He's one of the Backgammon Learning Center teachers, and he's just a brilliant guy. The, his math is incredible. He's, he's up there with anybody. He's going to get this right. He's going to double. There, there you go. It is. He was selling it. Had a okay. boy, Frank. That's, that's what they call poker. Now, Z's made three big cube errors. Two, on, two of them on doubles, one of them on a table. Yeah, where any in of this them match, and he's got a potential for a fourth, even the largest of the set yeah, so point far. Three, but I, six. I think he can let this go. But, um, just not much future in yeah. taking that. Well, it's tempting because you take the cube and you recube for the match, but then you have to figure out what's your match equity at two away, eight away. And Frank uh, has a four off. He has a pip count lead, but yeah. he's, he's got some misses in his future with that distribution, too. Yeah. So how many people know what your match equity is at two away, eight away? That's the problem. Even if you could figure out over the board that you have 8%, do you know that's a take or pass? <clears throat> and uh, I don't know the number, but let's I know it, it's better than 8%. Let's it go. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure I would have been able to figure out over the board that it was 8%. All right, good cube action by both of them. Frank dodged a bullet there. He, he, he was in bad shape. <clears throat> okay. So double <clears throat> double six won him the game. How many times has double six <laughs> won somebody a game? Our next round uh -oh. will be three o'clock. I think double six and one six seem to be big game winners. Uh, double ones. Now as this game takes a little flavor, I'm gonna digress ever so briefly. I mentioned it earlier and since Phil joined me here, that'll be uh, it's even more appropriate. But telling everybody the final of this tournament on Sunday, late afternoon, early evening. Is going to be at the Burj Khalifa, the top of the world, and uh, we'll be live there streaming that match. And uh, you're looking at the pairing that's going to be doing the commentary. Uh, Phil's going to join me, and uh, that should be exciting. I hope that I'm not going to be able to join you. You you hope you'll be there. <laughs> I hope not I'll, joining me. I hope I won't be able to join you. That's my goal. <laughs> But you, you'll be there either way. I'll be there either way. But the odds are, <laughs> I know I know what the odds are. I'm two and one in the tournament, but you can lose, uh, you can lose twice and still win the tournament. So I, I've, I've got some room. So uh, everyone will be uh, keeping everyone abreast yeah. of the uh, streaming schedule and so forth. Then that match uh, at the Burj Khalifa will be late afternoon early evening so it'll be uh in non-sleeping hours for the americans as well as the europeans so uh, that should be exciting oh yeah they, they pulled out all the stops uh, in this tournament everything that you could do that's classy they've done oh yeah that's one of the things phil they were trying to correspond the timing of that match with sunset uh, uh, from the burj khalifa wow you know? Now, have you been up there? No. I got in yesterday yeah, morning, yeah. and I haven't seen anything except this hotel. Tar and I went last Friday, a week from today, with Patrick Jabelli to, um, for a meeting with the people there to uh -huh. look at the venue and plan out how we're going to uh -huh. do the streaming it's and what have you. It's so amazing. It's quite a view. I posted this morning on my Facebook page a picture of all of your equipment. That you and Tara bring with you to do to do yeah. this kind of thing. It's amazing. <laughs> I think you drove a truck over from uh, from, from the states. Texas. All right, double, double. Which you know, at trailing as he is, he's got to be a bit more aggressive. And a Frank quick pass. Let that go. Quick pass, sure. Big pass. <clears throat> now to answer one gentleman's question, uh, the tournament directors and organizers consider board color schemes for streaming, and and they do to an extent. Tara and I try to ex exercise a bit of influence is uh you know based on our experience what are the best color schemes and checker uh -huh. combinations and so forth so some directors are more attuned to that than others but occasionally you know they have uh, board sponsors that are supplying boards to the tournament that are to be used for streaming and sometimes the uh, board manufacturers aren't as attuned to that as as others are yeah. but, uh, but these boards are fine for streaming. these boards are They're fine very good 
some people are don't like the checkers necessarily but actually the the logos and the writing on the checkers provide uh you know help some distinction too yeah but the lighting such we're not having any glare problems no anyway, I, anyway. the beautiful thing is i can see the numbers on the dice well well that's to our, me our special yeah, dice. to me <laughs> that's the most the most important part of streaming is to see the dice okay so we've got action here and it was good cube good take so yeah. a proper play on both sides of you, the table. you double much faster when your opponent is two away because he can't recube and if he just wins one point, you're in trouble anyway because he's at Crawford. So you always give the cube a little faster when your opponent's two away. And Frank, by dancing, it's it's just uh, full speed ahead for uh, yeah. for Zdenek here. <clears throat> so he's gonna it's shaping up as he may well have a oh, very my. good gammon potential. Yeah, here. and he's right in the match if he gets a gammon. Th at three away, two away, that's a hell of a match. What are you, 40%? 60-40 mm -hmm. match. I think I play to the... F well, do you come out? XG wants you to come out. I was tempted to play to the five, but uh, we shall see. Coming out was not on my list, and it was the right play. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. It was not on my list. I, 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 I agree. I, I over blitz, I guess. Michi gave a, le a lecture on blitzing this morning, and uh, I walked away completely confused. <laughs> now, we will get a link. That was live streamed by uh, the local Dubai um, streaming platform company uh -huh. and photojournalism company. They live streamed that. We'll get a link. Uh, it was recorded, uh -huh. uh, of course. We'll get a link to that and share it with everyone uh -huh. so that they can see the... Uh, the Michi uh, lecture this morning. There'll be a Mochi lecture tomorrow morning and a Zidenic lecture Sunday morning. Right. So. In Michi's lecture, he raised a well, bunch of great, interesting questions, in and I'm, uh, and he, he didn't have the time to really answer them well. I still think it was a very valuable lecture, and he's a brilliant guy, uh, but I, I walked away with a lot of good questions that I'm going to have to put in XG and examine. And they were the kind of things that it was kind of counterintuitive to what maybe sometimes we we have come to think about yes. blitzing positions. Absolutely. It's not at all the way I learned about blitzing. It's a whole different approach. I always learned about the number of checkers in the zone being critical, and he was, can you play a six, and do you have a spare on the six point? Those two things yeah. I, I never thought about really much before. Again, I, have we gotten that? link yet to the lecture taurus she's checking out as soon as we get it we'll post it so uh -huh. that all of y'all have the opportunity to to see that lecture <laughs> yeah we like tar says once we get the copy of it we'll uh maybe announce this well i think you, time that we're i think do you it take all three lectures it. of these three incredible players and you make a Make a really exciting video about it. Put them all together. You got three of the best players in the world lecturing one yeah, after another. Yeah, Tudor, as, as we, um, again, the local streaming platform is live streaming the, the lectures, uh -huh. but we will get links and we will post them for sure. uh, for everyone's benefit. So do you slot here? It's tempting. It's right by a tiny, tiny bit. I would have been a little afraid to slot with against that four-point <laughs> board, but it, it's very, very close. I don't think I would have had the guts to slot. This is my play. Oh, I, I'm right. You. I don't. I don't think I would either, Phil. Well, so, uh, you'd have to roll this out to really be sure. It turns out slotting is very wrong. This is a big difference between plus plus and four ply on this play. Initially, it showed slotting right, and now it's very wrong. Yeah, we'll post uh, the, those links when we get them. We'll post them on all the social media, Facebook pages. That'll be Mind Skills, my personal one, Bill Riles, the Ace Point uh, Facebook page, but the Mind Skills one uh, certainly as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, you should be able to uh, to view it. And they were, I mean, they've, they've got some very expensive camera uh, equipment. Oh, my goodness. 2423 was right there. I would have thought you'd get gammoned a lot more there. Well, it was a tie. Well, it was a tie. I, Plus, if you get a hit, you. Uh, yeah, I never would have you, thought of you that. You don't uh, 
you maybe don't crunch your board as, yeah. as he might now. So if I'm frank, I'm strictly playing game and save. But XG like yeah. to, like coming up, like to get. Uh, I guess you hold like your, to get cute with it. You no, know? well you hold your board if you get hit. That's the yeah. the upside of getting hit. Exactly. Yeah. Which wow, that's a great roll for Frank. That was big. That was big. That six is going to mean a, l a lot fewer gammons. Yes, you peel here. What about it? Clear the, that's it. That's got to be right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Frank can just get away by losing two points in this game. It's almost like a win for him. Absolutely. And I tell you, there's still in uh, there's still some wins in Frank. Do you future run now? Here. I think you run. I don't know. I mean, he could roll the six five or something like that to give you the double shot if you. Uh, now it's close. You don't run. It's it, close. It, it's close. So it's the thing, you know. Frank's playing game and save. Doesn't want to burn a lot of pips, but you give up some double shot opportunities if you break the ace now. So that's a tough call, and and XG shows it's a tough call yeah. by the very close uh, equity yeah, differences. I, I I honestly would have run. I would have run. It's slightly right. Okay, and it's slightly right. And now it's that's, punished. That's punished. Yeah. <laughs> Duly punished. No good deed goes unpunished. Ooh, we danced. There's still some gammons here. He needs to come in right away. And he okay, does. He's in. That's huge to stop Gammons. That's huge. He's, he's still got some work to do, oh, but yes. he's in, he's oh, in yes. better shape than he was. That's not going to help. Well, yeah. He can go around the corner. Eight pips is average. Oh, I, actually, I saw it as a 5-1, yeah. so eight was... Ooh, that's big. That's not, not that's good. Big. Not good. That's big. He needs big numbers here. That's not big enough. He's going to have to double have to have have doubles uh, next time. Fives and sixes, huh? Well, four at fours, fours, fives, and sixes. If he gets the roll, he gets the roll. Fours, fives, and sixes. Nope. No. Now so. we got a match. Zedek you know, and, fought and, back. And Zedenik, with those cube errors he'd made, it kind of blown his PR up, but he's carved it back down to 489, which is still disappointing for him. I'll take it. I'll take it, <laughs> but it, he he will be disappointed with that. Oh, and, sure. and Frank's playing superbly at three oh seven. So uh, I'm telling you, Frank has been a force in this game for many many years. That's another big roll for Frank. Double six there is going to be huge at this score. Also, all right. So Frank's take point is twenty six percent, and Z's and take point right. is twenty five percent. He's not wasting any time, but so, I don't know that's the best thing that could happen to him. Here. No, I, I'm not sure it is either. <laughs> Neither. Although, of them. <laughs> yeah. so double six is not always your best roll. This is a good roll, making an inside point. I would make make the make the three. Make, make the, the three. three. You're leaving a shot anyway. You might as well make a better point. And you get, ooh, he can't hit. It, it would be, yeah. Ill, it'll be illegal to hit. Yeah, he didn't have a six. You have to play both numbers. Okay, so he's going to make the deuce. I think he might make the deuce. He can make it with either. Makes it heavy. Yeah. No. Okay, well, they're, no, he's supposed to make it heavy and not leave the outside shot because that shot could be fatal. Okay. okay, and he played that a little fast too. He did play it fast. You got to think uh, he had a certain game plan yeah. in mind. And, and, and ooh, this is tricky. You're not supposed to hit here, but it's close. Very tricky. But I was I was hitting wow. it. My gut reaction was but to look hit. At, look at what you got to do. Stacking. Um, yeah. Oh, hitting's right. That was my gut all reaction on the, on the XG double plus. Changed it. So yeah. It's, uh, well, I'm a double plus player. That's why it, it agrees with me a double plus. <laughs> but when they roll it out, I'm terrible. Wow. This, I mean, but yeah, I mean, it's just so ugly to play. What eight two six three? Ooh, now that's, a, now that's, that's that's not that's bad. Point oh one oh. That's still a good play. Oops. Kind of splitting the baby a little Oops. bit. And, uh, Oops. Now, now what? Well, I don't think I play with three blots. 
I don't. He wants to duplicate the four though instead of giving him a right, five. Right. Right. But still, yet you're putting three blocks in play. Yeah, it's but you're right. One six is a nice roll for Frank. How's the race? Frank's still a little ahead in the race. It's pretty close. This is uh, anybody's game. This Absolutely. is anybody's game. One point is clear. Four two. Four is easy. Frank would like something higher than a seven. I said, I mean a seven or higher. Higher yeah. than a six. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Five, two. Z. What do you do? Yeah, very okay. nice. Very nice. You can go ahead and slot it. Frank's not going to have any inclination to get hit or to allow himself yeah. to get hit. So... Uh, He's not leaving a shot this roll. So you can uh, kind of play with impunity, slotting up. That's a great roll for Z, being able to keep those two outside points and not leave a shot out there. That's a very big roll for him. And now it's, uh -oh. got, it's cruncheroo time. It's crunching time. You can't risk it. 6 3, so there's makes, a, it makes a the ace. shot. So it gives him the five shot. A few more numbers, but he has a five point board. Yeah. Frank's going to play safe. Got to play safe, I think. Does. Okay. Okay. Does Z leave? Play it real big out there? Ooh. No. Wow. That's too much. You think? That's too much. It's right, though. It, no, no, it's, it's wrong not. by 12, a lot. Three, yeah. Wrong by a lot. It's, you're just giving your opponent way too many hits. Okay. Here All right. We go. There we go. There's their, 17 their, hits. 17 numbers. 17 numbers. numbers. Not too many hit and covers, though. Not too many hit and covers. It's a double. Big, big double and a big take. Ow. Would I catch the double here? Would I have thought the double here? I would have thought about it. I'm not sure I would have got it. It's a big double. Let's see how this score. And there's a few. What's the number? There's you know, a, a very few gammons floating around out there. The, but, the lesson there is highly, Frank, highly volatile cubes are often doubles. Ooh, he missed. This is huge. This is really huge. Wow. Right play. Boom. Not yeah. quite. Uh, <laughs> Not quite. Give so he just one. gives him the minimal number of shots. Yeah, you're up in the race. You don't want to get hit. You just play the race. Just try to race now. Z's behind, but Frank's got the uh, four and five point uh -huh. void. So since I've been sitting here, Z's been playing the cube brilliantly. I missed I missed the blunders. I would have And Frank has two, by the way. Yeah, that it's a very well played match. Look at look at Z's uh, PR with those three big blunders, he's still playing four point four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big roll. Big roll. Wow. Okay, so let's Another big roll. Frank needs a set himself, a, a, a workable set. That's not it. <laughs> got to have two sets. Or no, no. he's actually got... He has that extra checker yeah, on the ace. Extra checker. I've okay. seen players make the mistake, so, though, uh, and, and give up when they could have won, uh, but not at this level of play. Nice comeback for uh, Z. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, One away. Two away, Crawford. Classic gammon, go gammon, save. Up, oh, classic. Three two, gammon save. You split gammon go. You would bring two down. He's hitting. He's doing. He's going for the G. You know, it's interesting how the. The game changes around, right? The last two games, Zenix need to be playing for the Z, and now it's turned around and Frank's playing for the G. That's right. 
I love match play. It's ten times more complex than straight money games. Much more yes, interesting. Three o'clock, we will go back to the match. Three o'clock. It's a good play. Very good play. Whoops. Nice number. Whoops. That's a big roll. Big roll for Z. Whoa, and a horrible man. roll for Frank. Man. Frank needs an anchor. <clears throat> Yeah, it's terrible to need an anchor when you're on Gam and Go. Yeah, <laughs> that's not what you're. That's not what you're hoping for. <laughs> but you're hoping for life, however, however faint the pulse might be. Yeah. Any any port in a storm is what they say about the, making that anchor. That is very good roll. That was big. And uh, the dance would have been big, but this is pretty good for Frank. Frank must hit. He does. Frank hits. He does. And the four is ugly, but I guess you go into the go into to the, the four, four point. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No. I don't what? know. Oh no no no. no, no. Like How that. do you not hit? I don't like that. How do you not hit a gam and go? I think you hit and you play the four. Oh, I'd like wow. to see that. Or what happened to our moves? I don't here? know. I wanted to see that. I don't know anybody in the world that doesn't hit a gam and go there except Frank Talbot. Maybe and maybe he was right. I mean, it's not like he's killing in the race. If you're killing in the race. Maybe you would do that. I I got to see that play. He didn't hit. I'm sure he saw it. That's not the question. I think uh, Justin's forgotten. He's got it on summary and not. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, Tara ran in there to check on what's happening with XG. Yeah, I think maybe Justin fell asleep. <laughs> you know, he's, he got a young young bride, and he's came over from England. You get tired. When you're old like me, you got nothing to get, get to make you get tired. So we don't okay. have an XG feed, by the yeah, way. It's, I, I kind of like not having the XG feed. I like making a fool of myself, and people don't know it right away. They don't know it until the next day. You're not uh, proven wrong on occasion. On occasion? What have they? I guess they've. Uh, well, maybe they've stopped to let. No, the clock's let Justin, running. So I think Frank. Uh, Justin, catch up. Justin's trying to catch up. I think. Yeah, but Frank's clock's running while they're doing it. I don't know that they. Uh, oh, and Frank's clock is low. That. Yeah. Oh, Tara, stop the clock. They're. Oh no, this is well, a big mistake. She, she can go back and fix the clock, but let me. Yeah, they need to stop that clock for Frank. This is very. This is terrible. All right, they're playing again. Frank lost a bunch of time on the clock. I hope that's not a factor in the game. He's got lots of time with two minutes left, and there's not going to be very many games left, so he's okay. Yeah, he, they're playing, and he's okay. I think he's going to be okay with two minutes left in this, this amount of time, but it still shouldn't have been running while they were correcting. Oh, this is a big double five. This could be the match, that roll. And that gives him a sh big, big shot in the race that he didn't have. But, oh, nice return. Still, yes. So it's yes. almost dead even. Yes. So the dice are going to dictate the winner of this. No contact, straight race. Well, Frank's got an edge in the race. He's up a little bit. And he's on roll. He's a, he's still a good favorite in the race, but it's not big. Frank wins this game, and will be a double match point. Is that a four? Good roll. Nice good roll. 
for the ace. That's a very strong roll. Ooh, almost a double five. I thought I saw a double five there. Okay. Double twos. twos. Okay. That's that's still a decent roll, I guess. You don't want fours, but oops. I'll take that. If I, even though I only get one off, I'll take that double fours. Oh, this double four is better. So what's he got? Eight checkers uh, and uh, eight he's a, checkers. Yeah, so he's Frank's a, own roll, and uh, he's a double. He's a double roll away. Shape. Yeah. Z better not roll a four. He needs doubles. He rolled the four, even worse. Frank. Now it's Jin if he doesn't roll an ace. Doesn't roll an it's ace. Jin. So here we go, folks. Double match point. This is uh and the last game. And they both since I've been sitting here, they've both been playing about two PR. Yeah, they've both been carving it on down oh, there away. Watch, we're watching two great, great players. There's a lot of them here. You know, it's interesting, Phil. There's a there's a lot of players that some some very good players that a lot of us don't see or aren't familiar with. A oh lot yeah, of, a lot of Iranian players, Lebanese, uh, uh, Saudi. Yeah. Uh, My second round yesterday, I played a guy from Iran I never heard of. It's an older guy. Sits down. I think, boy, I got this match easy, and this guy played great. <laughs> I mean, he beat me, but he played really, really well. Okay. And I just played a guy from Georgia who played very, very well, but I, I got I had good dice against him. Who'd you play? You play Or was it somebody else? Much older guy. Ramaz, you play Yeah. Tall yeah. guy? No, no. Okay, no. different one then. No, the tall guy was there watching and coaching him while we were playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why isn't this an immediate make a point? Uh, yeah, I hit. It looked like an immediate hit. All right, DMP. Double twos. Making. We do have XG. Oh, my God. Devane, you, maybe you can, this might need tough. to refresh your uh, browser there. XG's not moving for us. You know, and, and like you said, and I talked about some... I mean, look at the PRs now. These last three, four, five oh, games, they've been playing lights out. Incredible. How do you make three blunders and play under four PR? And three big cube blunders. I mean, yeah. That's big coming in, but that... Oh, uh, look at this. All right. Frank needs to... Ooh. Is that a good miss or a bad miss? I think he'd rather hit, but... I think I make the bar. Give him the ace. He's got double in the outfield. That's actually a pretty good miss. Oh, the ace and no cover. But wow, this look at this. This is somewhat awkward. I'm hitting. Make the deuce point. Okay, or that. I would have hit. Which must be wrong because he didn't think about it very long. I would have hit. Man. There's a blot on the other side. Hitting's fun. Well, you are up 22 pips in the race, uh, so you're supposed to race. That's the theory. Okay, so... Okay, no, no fear there. And now he's got to play off those two points. Sure. So. And you can't cover because you have no three if you cover. This is tricky. One, two, three, four. Again, he's still up in the race, so he should be racing. Six, four. I'm going, baby. Leave that shot. You get the opportunity. Yep. Take it. No, not legal. Yeah, there you go. This is my play. 
So he's given up what tens and this is the roll of the match right here. The roll of the match. Nine. Nine. Split the difference. right in between. Oh my god. Oh look at this Whoa. bold. Oh, there's two blots in the inner board. I love two this blots. play. Yeah, yeah. I love this play. This you gotta look for action. This is a real action play. All the hits and covers have a one in them. You don't roll he doesn't roll a one, there's gonna be action. Of course, if he just plays safe here, it's easier for him to bring it home. I don't know. I think I make this play. I love it. I love it. I, that, this is action. I, that's a, a nice this play. This is action. Five, six. Well, this is clean exact, them both up. exactly no. what he... No, you clean him up. But yeah, you clean it up. But, I mean, this is exactly uh, What's why he at? Z wasn't afraid to make this. Play. Yeah, yeah. But this is still a very good role for Frank. It, it, it just Absolutely. for Pips. Is, I'm just pick up my dice and smile here. There's no hitting play that makes sense. <clears throat> this this match was a yo-yo back and forth. Z took the lead and. Well, he can make the prime right here if he if he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> wow! You know, there's <laughs> it's wrong. Wow! It's wrong to make the prime. Yeah. Okay. It was very tempting, though. I'll tell you, if the gammons were in play, you might do it. If gammons mattered, you might make the prime. Right. That was. I think that's the difference. DMP. I learned from Stick that you just got to play thousands of DMP games to see how different it is from playing normal backgammon. Over and over and over again. Stick was the master at that. All right. It's still, it's, uh, it's still a close game. Yeah, I mean, it's almost dead even. Very close. You hate to see either of them lose. They both played so well and courageously. And they're both both really nice guys. Wow! It's I would flip a coin now. Oh, throw away that two one. Five one. It's uh wow. Oh. oh, that's the match. That is the match. Frank Man. Talbot. My buddy from Detroit. I can't. Carol Joy Dole, yeah. I'd send her a message. She's watching. Yeah. She texted me that she she found it. She's watching, so I am sure she was well, excited with that double six. Frank is a product of the Flint backgammon and De Detroit group. I mean you can credit Carol Cole for Bringing along a lot of players, including Sly and Frank and a bunch of others. A bunch of other really fine that players from that area. Uh, Frank's at a commanding uh, position. It's, it's over, So you've got to have a set here it's and over. then another set. Good over. Match. Great match. Good match. Great match. Look at the PRs. Both, both it, under four. They're running a little behind for some reason, uh -huh. but uh, they're That's both going to be under four. Uh, wonderful match. Wonderful match. You know, it, it's sometimes we get lucky, you know. I mean, I, I sit down and try to choose what I think are going to be the best matches. And we've been lucky with the best matches so far. Uh, I mean, who was that well, last night? Both played Raj and whoever he played, both were under like two and a half. Yep. Sergey Arokin and yes. Raj. Yes. And uh, Arif and... Uh, You're picking the right guys. Well, and, there's and a I could, I could and... And Arif in the first match. All right, I'm not going to pat you on the back for that. There's so these you're picking really good players, and you're patting yourself on the back because they're playing well. I well, mean, these are really great players. Really great players. <laughs> what do you expect? But there, I mean, there are a number of uh, <laughs> there are a number of good matches out there. They're, they're great. We, we've yeah. just gotten fortunate. You, and, uh, yes, that, in, that was, uh, this was very getting, exciting. Getting the right ones. Now, this Tara, is what back is all about. This is a very exciting. Oh match. wow! And if Tara, she can probably flip stream two over here for us if she she got her headphones on frank <laughs> frank tell me great match they both play it under four, both played under four ray had 
Rage said, take it to the bank. Frank's going to win, right? So before the match. That's right. That's right. Aaron, Aaron said you were crazy, but uh, at, I said at, I would bet at on the Frank. beginning of it. Yeah, I said I would bet on Frank. People Aaron, don't know how good he is. Aaron. Okay, here we got the other match, Phil. Okay, who we got here? Oliver, oh, Oliver. Squire, the young leading man from seven three, and uh, Jamil Dow is a hometown boy. I, I don't know Jamil, but Oliver is. I met him in Istanbul at the UBC and then again in Monte Carlo. He's one of the bright young men of the game. He's, he's taking a year off from college to concentrate on his backgammon. He may never go back to college. I know another guy that did that. His name is Mochi. <laughs> who dropped out of college to play backgammon. And we yeah. know the rest of the story. Well, it looks like uh, Jamil in fairly good likelihood is going to get it to a 7-5 match. And, uh, yeah, open mouth, insert foot. He's going to leave shots now, and that's going to be it. Okay. Don't you come so out with a checker? Go. He's not worried about uh, backgammons? I would have been tempted to come out with a checker there. Look at there, Phil. So much for that. Yeah. Rolls a deuce. I really think he's supposed to come out with one of those checkers. He played it very quickly. Well, Al that's Oliver's the, brilliant, though. Someday, I think it's kind of an axiom that uh, Art Benjamin said. <laughs> you run when the opponent's got eight, right? Because you're... Yeah, but it depends on the score. When you're this far well, ahead, BG, you'd, uh, yeah. When you're this far ahead, it, it's different when you have a match score like that. But he played it quickly, and Oliver's a brilliant player. Uh oh, deuce, boom, no deuce. Oh, well, you got to go. BG loses the match. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> I was going before the roll. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't roll a deuce. All right. Does okay. anything save it? I can't think of anything. Well, he might roll an ace. He did not save it. So uh, here we go. He, he still can't save it. He can't save it. Doesn't matter. No. Doesn't. It's over. Okay. So the uh, two way. Two way. Two way. This is where I want to change the rules of gammon. I would like this to be Crawford from here on in, because otherwise you're going to just turn the cube and it's over. It would be so interesting to play this game out without a cube from here on. Yeah. The reason people won't do it, of course, is number one, it's a change, and nobody likes change. And number two, the matches would be longer. But I, right now, if this was Crawford for the rest of the match, it would be much more interesting. And this very possibly, very likely, I guess, is, is supposed the, to double the right last now. Game. Yeah, right there is, is, is correct to double. I don't think you might have had a market loser with double six, but it's not a big mistake to wait. Maybe he's playing him a little bit. Oliver may not know this guy, and he's, he's waiting on the cube to... And just to uh, remind everyone, when this is over, don't, uh, don't wander far. We're going to have matches all day, and the next round begins uh, at 3 o'clock, which is 34 minutes from now. The take point here is 32%, so you're going to take any cube early in the game like this. But... Oliver was probably hoping the guy might make a mistake. That's why he waited a roll or two. Given the opportunity to make a mistake yeah. anyway. As long as you can't lose your market and drop below 32%, it's not bad to wait and play around. That was a very good double three. That was a very, very big roll for Jamil. Oliver, in some ways, his personality and uh, his demeanor is, reminds me of Matt Cohn Geyer, almost a little shy and quiet. Yeah, but, kind of a reserve. Yeah, reserve. But, introverted. But brilliant when he opens his mouth. <laughs> yeah, very nice guy. Oh, it's, terrific guy. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, a little bit of an introvert, whatever. Well, maybe he's just nice, not like you and me. He doesn't like to talk a lot. Not cocky and candid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a Brit. He's a reserved Brit. Now, I wonder, and let me look. Uh, let's see if I can look up our, and you can go to everyone, ftbgsystem.com. And follow all the brackets and uh, records and 
what have you. And that's real time updated. Right before my match, I get a text telling me what table to go to, who I'm playing, what time to be there. It's an amazing system. Okay. Somebody asked me earlier, what, what could they do to make this tournament better? And all I said was they just not let any of the Giants play, so I have a better chance. I was looking at, let's see how some of the undefeated big names did in this round. Tony Bernabe lost to guard Pignarian from Switzerland. Ooh, the 1-3 back game, pretty well-timed, reasonably well-timed. No, actually, it isn't big timing yet. I wouldn't commit to the back game quite yet. This is an excellent roll. Can't, couldn't ask for much more than making two good points. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to come off that back game. I'm going to move up and up. Make it a 2-4 back game. Much easier to there time and play. A 1-3 back game is actually better than the 2-4 if you've got great timing and it's later in the match, later in the game. But at this point, he did clearly the right thing by coming up. Aside from the fact that you get gammoned a lot less, you're going to get shot sooner. Kit Woolsey once told me a 2-4 is his favorite back game when people are in, when you've got checkers in the outfield still. If you got great timing... Everybody asks, what's the best back game? I love the 1 2 back game if you've got great timing. Because you're going to get a lot of double shots and pick up a second checker. All right. He's thinking about whether he wants to hit twice and time the hell out of him. He could hit twice, you know. Uh, uh, no, am I wrong? Yeah, he could hit twice. <laughs> I think he, I think he just give up and hit start start overtiming him now and hit twice. I believe you. That's the right play. Three. You, yeah, yeah, that's the play. Right. If you can't stop his timing, then overtime him. Okay, so he, he needs to be fairly aggressive here. I think. Oh yeah. Plus, he wants to get those checkers off his six and five points. So I'm hitting loose. I'm hitting loose as well. And you bring the builder around, I guess. Bring it to the eleven, maybe. Yeah. Already got his. Already got a spare on the on the bar. Yeah. He's actually even if you get hit back, you'd rather recirculate those checkers. Yeah, that's yeah. the right play. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's the right play. That's my play. Well, Very good. it must be wrong. It's your play and my play. <laughs> and his play. And his play. <laughs> Oh, I love not having the XG stream, I must tell you. It's more fun for me sitting here okay. without a tell. You know, now this is, this is sad. Oh, that's a great roll. You're certainly going to put at least one checker up to the four. Yeah, you want You have to do that as much as you'd like the, to make the other point. That's good. That's want, my plan. Yeah, that enables you to circulate those checkers. Oh, yeah. Burn time with those, those spares. Absolutely. I got to like Oliver's game now. Well, I'm making a point. Block him. Not that one. No. You know. No. And I just glanced over there. Pay attention to the clock, Phil. Oh, Jamil's got two minutes. Yeah, but watch when Oliver hits the clock. One minute. Ten. Oh, we're playing speed gammon. <laughs> Ten point eight. This is the way back gammon should be played. By the way, one of the things they did here in a nine-point match, we're always playing nine-point matches. Instead of 18 minutes on the clock, you've only got 14 minutes on the clock. I love that. It's still a 12-second delay, but they've shortened the clock time because they want to get all matches done within two hours to start the next round. And I love that. So that's one of the reasons why people are short on time. They're used to, used to having more time on their clock. This is easy. But Oliver is kind of from that Mochi, Victor, and some other school where... Uh, he lets it run down? Lets it run down. Um, 
I'll never understand it. I've asked Mochi about it several times. He just smiles. He lets his clock go down to a few seconds, and then the last two games he's playing speed gammon when it's most important. I'm not going to question Mochi. He's got something on his mind that I don't understand. You know, and this is a terribly complicated game. Oh, yes. Play with no time. Oh, yes. Right? Yeah. I mean, this is, this is a complicated this game. This is a complicated game to play with lots of time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of errors in this game. I, that's another reason I'm glad we don't have the XG feed. It would make these guys look like bad players to mo to the casual viewer. XG feed would look like a slot machine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Numbers. Right. And, and it's not that they're bad, it's that this is complicated for anybody. And further, in, how should we say, enhanced or something by the fact that Oliver doesn't have any time. Yep. It's turned into a very interesting game. A double match point. So one of the things, the reasons you want to play a back game more often is gammons don't matter at double match point. So... Uh, it doesn't it doesn't hurt as much to play the biggest negative of playing a back game well, is well he could have made the eight point there why no it's they, four one. Oh, i thought he had a five one okay yeah, four one okay now it gets tough now it gets tough i think mean, you just break off the the 23. yeah I, a lot of people would just break the seven point i don't point step here. up i play the, yeah i like this i don't step up i take it on out to the uh I don't know. You get 17. more. You get more return shots by leaving it on the seven point, though. I really don't know the yeah, answer. You're giving more uh, pointing numbers on the deuce if you step up, or on the three. On the three. Uh, I I really don't know the answer. You duplicated sixes by stepping up, though, too. I like the step up play. That was a, a poor roll by Oliver. Yeah, it's shooting a blank. Great, great roll from uh, Jamil's perspective. Nice. Well, I say nice. He's going to bring that one all the way around. I might save a. I might go to the two and save it, but I guess you don't want to blot when you're about to get attacked. He's going to get attacked. Okay, there it is. Ace deuce. Good roll for Oliver. A dance here would be big for Oliver. And a two four is mediocre. It's got to go behind. Now Oliver's gonna, yeah. if he can hit it, he will hit it. Threes and sevens. There's a three. Well, hit and you bring it in. Bring yep. it in, I think. The huh? builder. Yep. Got to have a. This is direct, huge. Direct this is, cover. This is the match, maybe. Uh, you need a two. It's big for the match. Doesn't no. get it. Now aces and sevens cover. Nines, Nines don't. Another builder take it coming in. in. Yep, yeah. another builder. This is it. This is huge. I love double match point. Every roll is so exciting. Wow, it's in, he comes in, but he doesn't. Uh, yeah, he'd be better off dancing. No, I guess he can go to the ace. No, I, I think he goes he, to the ace. Yeah, go to the ace. Oliver's wow. got some options here. And... Wow, hits and covers. Needs an ace in the worst way. Within the next two rolls, he probably doesn't cover this roll. Only 11 covers. Double three. Two. That's forced by logic. Okay, this may be the last opportunity. No. no. Okay, a five, and it's five and likely ten. over. No, doesn't get it. But well, the four has got to come out. I yeah, you got to come. And the you three gotta come out, probably all the way. The three doesn't do yeah. any good. Yeah. To go eleven eight. And you don't want to give them double ones. Correct. Needs that ace. I wonder what he's thinking. He's thinking ace. He ace. got it. Boom. Ace butt. But. Ace butt. And the three comes in. What else? Oh. Is there a double hit here? Would that be fun? 16 numbers dance? Be fun, but I don't think it's right. I'm not sure. A DMP? I'm not so, I'm not maybe, so sure. You may have a point, Phil. 
It's too many shots. Okay. Okay. This, I this, think this is, this is probably insane. right. If, if, if Oliver had a worse board, the double hit might be right. This has got to be right. Would have been fun, though. Two and four. Ooh, look how fast things change. Isn't it the, that, and that's the beauty of the game. Oh, my Ooh. God, what a roll. Ooh. Hit and cover. And then go to the four. Of course. Or five, I'm sorry. Go to the five. It's the battle of a four. You've got to have a six in his near future, though. Yeah. Or Oliver could roll another four. Three. Oh, look oh. at this. Puts it up, but yeah, has but to clear the six. There's the six. He might clear the four. Uh, Why would you? I don't know. You're no, not he... going to win unless you roll yeah, the six. I agree. Okay, looking for Mr. Six here. That's not oh, it. That's that, a blot. Yeah. That's his worst number. Monster right. swing roll right there. That was a monster. Oh. Ooh, now he needs a he six, needs that six. six small. Six small. He'll take a six anything. Oh. How about double sixes? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and now it's five or curtains. The five okay, or this, curtains. this is it. This is well, it. it could be a... Nope. Could he could blot wow. again? Oliver could was a again. huge favorite about four minutes, about two minutes ago. Okay, that's likely match right there. Very likely. Take it off. There you go. There's no this shots. Is a, and again, I'm I'm not at all familiar with Jamil Dow or his game, but this has got to be a an upset, a pretty significant portion. I think. I have I, no idea. Oliver is a one of the best. Oh yeah. So. Uh, Ooh, okay. Whatever happened there. I don't know. But uh big win for the for the hometown UAE guy here, you know. It's back, Kevin. Anybody can win. I'm not saying he's in anybody, but you don't think a guy from the UAE match. winning this could uh, would become a celebrity wow. here in Dubai, do you? <laughs> could be. This is great. <laughs> wow. They've got a lot of media coverage. I've never seen so much media coverage. This is more than Monte Carlo in yeah, yeah. meteor color. Any any tournament I've ever seen. Well, There's I got to get ready. Uh, I got a match starting very shortly. Hello to Bakar Matikashvili watching. I, I'd yeah. hope to meet you here, Bakar. But uh, glad you're watching. Now, what time is it? Two forty-one in nineteen minutes. We've got two more matches in round four. Yeah. So um, stay tuned. Don't wander far away. Phil is uh, two and one, so he's got another. Yeah, you'll another see me. Match in, you'll see me in the finals for sure. Yeah, that, like this guy says, who'd have thought we put on ZZ and Oliver, and they both lose. In <laughs> <laughs> both very exciting finishes, too. Yeah. Great, great, so. great plan. Nice work. Congratulations. <laughs> Come over here and say hello. Come over here. Come over here. Get, get in the camera. Get nice in the camera here. <laughs> Have a seat. I'm Phil. How are you? Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Very exciting finish. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's, uh, it, was really, it was really an intense uh, match uh, because uh, he, uh, he took the uh, advantage uh, on me in the points and I had to catch up. Uh, at a certain point, I had to play a little bit also aggressive, uh, especially when he had, when he had seven uh, three, I think. Uh, uh -huh. I had to play aggressive and I got lucky. So uh, you got lucky and you played well too. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly. And this has got to be terribly exciting for you. Uh, three, uh, three and zero oh in the hometown tournament. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, you win this thing, you're going to be a celebrity, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, well, let's see. It's still a, a, a long, uh, long way. Yeah. It's a long way. He's, already, have, he's uh, already a celebrity. He beat Oliver. There you go. You're a celebrity already. Are, were you familiar with Oliver? Uh, no, no. He's yeah, one of the best young players in the world. Uh, I yeah, mean, yeah. He's, he's right up there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I, I think also, uh, I think also he had uh, the uh, the tilt against him. Yeah, he little, had, little had the, time. Yeah, he yeah. Had, uh, I had six minutes. He had around thirty seconds. So that was also played uh, a little bit. Uh, well, in that last game, which was an extremely complicated yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. He only had 10 seconds, so he yeah, yeah. he couldn't think. He just had to instinctively play. You Your know? time was pretty low too. You yeah, were going I, I don't know how I went to that from six to uh, to 20, and then I was uh, yeah, I was bearing off, and then I see that yeah, I need to uh, 
to finish. <laughs> so let's talk would... about you. Have you played in any tournaments? No, this is my biggest uh, tournament. Wow. Uh, we're just playing Patrick's Club yeah. locally, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, well, congratulations and thank you. Do well in the rest. Thank you. We'll thank see you in the finals. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> thank okay. you very much, guys. Thank, thank you, you, Jamil. Thank Good you. luck to you. Can I have a uh, just a selfie with you both? Uh, no. I will take it. You can take a selfie. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay. Congratulations. Thanks. Good luck to you. Okay, people. In about fifteen minutes, we uh, two more matches. So I'm going to go uh, take a little break and do a little scouting, and uh, we'll be back shortly.
trying to be you, we are trying to be me, and only one of us can win, and only one of us can lose. What I do affects your outcomes, and what you do affects my outcome. Two matches here on stream one. We've got uh, Julian Minwala, a very good player from Great Britain. And he's playing uh, kind of our rising celebrity local guy here, Jamil Dow, who just on stream two in the last round defeated Oliver Squire from the, from the UK. Great young player. So we've got uh, Julian versus Jamil Dow. And we got to get Justin in there so we can get the transcription going. And then uh, on stream two, we're going to have, we're having Zdenek Ziska against Zdenek against, uh, I got to find his opponent. Let me see. Y'all bear with me. This Swiss format is great for the players. It's a great system. It is tough for the streamers to try to line up matches. We had there was the best match. One of the players didn't want to be streamed, so we had said we're going to stream this match. And then uh, one of them said, well, but I don't like to be streamed. I don't want to be streamed. So, And all the other matches were beginning to start, so we were kind of in a bind. And uh, I know, Julian, I know it's it's a long story. We, there was one match that was just would have been great, but uh, one of them refused to be streamed. Who is ZZ playing? I, I, don't, I can't find him on the uh, bracket here. I did switch them from uh, but <laughs> two of the same players, but I switched them from stream one and stream two, so they would be different in that regard. Agamir Gavorkian. Okay. Thank you, Julie. 
So it's going to be ZZ and Agamir Zogovorkian on stream two. Yes, thank you, Hussein, as well. It's, it's tough when we don't see the brackets until the brackets are put up. So then players are starting their matches. We're trying to decide, um, you know, which match we're going to stream, which two matches we're going to stream, and grab those players before the, they start their match. And we selected two, and we start grabbing the players, and all the other matches are starting. And, uh, you know, one of the two players of what was the best match that we were going to put on stream one, and one of the guys refused to be streamed. So then... Uh, then we have to go uh, into panic mode a little bit, but here we are. So, uh, Jamil Dow from a local guy, and, and it's kind of funny. I mean, as Bill and I were talking about earlier, there's so much media coverage and uh, what have you here. Jamil, who's from Dubai, beat Oliver Squire in the last round. He's undefeated. And... Uh, he got interviewed by some of the local media when, <laughs> between the rounds. So he's kind of a emerging celebrity in the Dubai backgammon circles, I guess. And Julian Minwal is a great player from the UK. Um, so here we go. Round four, these, uh, these guys are both undefeated. And uh, so this will, this will be fun. Uh, Justin Knowles doing the live transcription for us. So we'll be able to follow in that regard. Now, again, you can see that we begin with 14 minutes reserve time with the nine-point matches. Uh, so they're playing with effectively about a minute and a half uh, bank time and 12-second delay. So that's done to, um, you know, speed the match just a little bit. There's a lot of rounds in the Swiss format such as this. And... Um, so anyway, off we go. You got ZZ and Gavorkian going too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. So, uh, Jasper is in the house, my man. So, uh, anyway, let us see. That aces are good for Julian. He can make the the five and the seven, putting one in the air. Five, three, and dance now. Julian, he only has eight in the zone, so he's probably not. Uh, he might think about it, but he's not going to send it, or shouldn't send it at least. But, you know, again, there's some uh, psychology and strategy involved in backgammon. Maybe uh, Julian's not familiar with Jamil. I doubt that they've ever played or ever even heard of each other. So, uh, you know, Julian might uh, test his water here. Send him an early cube, see if he's a taker or a dropper, see if he... Uh, what? And he does send that early cube. Jamil had decided uh, during the interim there that he was taking that cube. So uh, there it is. Now he's probably going to come down and step up. Although uh, XG likes uh, to bring two down. Okay. So the the first two threes were obvious, and now he's gonna. That's what I would have done. X, it's not much of an error, but XG liked it otherwise. It's five. And it's funny, short. Uh, you know, early in the first game, so a very small sample size and uh, a couple of. Uh, Errors by each have kind of blown their PRs up early on, but I'm sure that's going to. They'll work those down fairly quickly. Again, I, I think that cube from uh, Julian, you know, it's a pretty good size error, but I think it was with purpose. Uh, and it gives him a chance to uh, measure Jamil up. 
stream two is on the Ace Point Backgammon YouTube channel. So if you, it's actually youtube.com forward slash AP live. So uh, that's uh, Agamir Govorkian against uh, Zdenyuk. And it, uh, apparently, let's put my glasses on and look at the other TV. Govorkian's from Russia playing Zdenyuk Ziska. And um, here we have Julian and Jamil. It's really kind of funny, and Phil and I were talking about it at the end of one of those earlier matches uh, in the last round, the, the media coverage and the, uh, I mean, Myco, which is a local streaming company, a streaming platform, which is a sister company of Patrick's companies. They've got like 15, 16 people here. Uh, there's cameramen and videos and still photography all over this room and interviewing people on the fly and we didn't put ZZ on the first stream because he was on the first stream while ago and we wanted to get typically there's quite a few more people on the first stream viewing than the second so we wanted to get a little bit more exposure to uh, to some different players and we're trying to grab players from uh, getting some representation from different countries as well so uh, there we are and and we had the one uh, in effect cancellation of what was going to be our primary match and put us into scramble mode um, here okay so Contact's broken, so it's just a dice rolling contest. Julian's got a six pip lead. Jamil holding the cube, so uh, for the foreseeable future, this is game will just continue and depend on the on the dice. double aces that will allow Jamil potentially to catch up a bit here 5-3 so uh, one pit differential both have 13 checkers in their home board so uh, doesn't get much closer 4-3 by uh, Julian Five four. Oh, just about as close as it gets. Pip, uh, pip differential. Both of them have voids on the ace deuce. Six three. Okay, so this is. Uh, Pretty straightforward bear off games for each, so it's more of a neither one of them is going to make significant uh, errors here. It's just going to who gets the uh, who gets the better dice. And you can see they both uh, brought those PRs way down. They had both made a pretty good size error in the first two or three plays, which had kind of. Uh, disguise their their levels of play but they're uh, they're bringing them down now and it's interesting because you know the the error julian made was the cube that he sent but um he may get away with it and like i said i i, I thought that was perhaps a, a cube with purpose because of um you know again you want to know, uh, you want to learn as much about your opponent as you can, as the, as early as you can in the match. And, uh, you know, I suspect Julian knew that was, if not not a cube, certainly somewhat close. And, uh, 
you know, we'll see what this guy's made out of. We'll see if uh, if I can intimidate him, bluff him, or what have you. And uh, he couldn't. But uh, you know, the uh, Julian's rolled well subsequently, and looks like uh, you know he's a favorite to uh, to capture two points here. As I told, uh, and more people are joining us here, I was telling some people, and I'll tell them, Tara didn't, might not have heard it early, Jamil played last uh, match on stream two and, and beat Oliver Squire, who's one of the best young players in the world, so certainly had to be regarded as a, as a bit of an upset. So uh, Jamil is a local Dubai guy and undefeated and beating one of the best players in the world. They... I told uh, some of the media people about that, and they had him over there interviewing for the locals between round three and round four. And then as once we had that one bunch uh, refuse to be streamed, then uh, as it ends up, Jamil's back on the stream. So uh, maybe his uh, celebrity status increases. But uh, And look at his first game, small sample, but Jamil playing... 191 so that's uh that's quite impressive you know i thought he played reason and i didn't see anything but the last two th two or three games of uh, the last round but he he did seem to be playing fairly well against uh against oliver so we'll get to see how he plays over an entire match uh, here in this match so <clears throat> he opens with a four two makes the four point double two replies so julian's going to make the uh, the four point Bring at least one to the 11. Perhaps both could split the rear checkers. Play. You're not going to split them. He's going to step up. The match is not acceptable except for emergency. Please we uh, have to respect and follow these rules. To be capable to finish the tournament. Yeah, you know, Tim, it's, it's funny. We, in varying respects, be it through streaming and what have you, through commentary, through... Uh, even tournament plays sometimes you can you can make stars uh you know it happened at uh you know with our tournament in texas um uh, in 2013 the first one we did uh, saba bajanis really come no one had ever heard of him and didn't know him whatever and, and just made this huge splash in our tournament and you know was soon on the cover of the USBGF magazine and has become one of the best players in the United States. Uh, you know, same thing. It's it's kind of funny. Uh, even uh, well, it started in San Antonio this year and then continued in Chicago with the, the young girl from Louisiana, Hannah DeRossier. And uh, you know, she's kind of a you know minor media darling in the back end community nowadays. And and. You know, now it's uh, in his hometown, and uh, maybe it's Jamil Dow, and and that's fine. I enjoy it, you know. And and he seemed to be enjoying it. He was so excited, and then, you know, the uh, Maiko wanted to interview him between the rounds, and and he was more than willing to do so. And then about the time his interview finishes, I grab him, and you're going to be streamed again. <laughs> so it, it's fun. It's fun. It's good for the game, I think. And and coincidentally, and I didn't really even think about this. He, uh, you know, he he played Oliver Squire in the previous round from Great Britain, and uh, and won that. And now he's playing uh, Julian Minwala, another uh, British player, a very accomplished British player. So he's. Uh, you know, getting to, to run through the British contingent. Hmm? Yeah, looking across over at Stream 2, I can see the TV there. Um, after, I guess, the first game, probably, Agamir Gavorkin from Russia leading Zdenek 2-0. And here, uh, Julian... Claims a another point and a double pass, up three uh, three zero. Despite the fact that uh, Jamil's playing uh, superbly, 
PR wise, but he's down, finds himself down three zero. And again, you know, that's uh two five nine against four 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 four. You know, again, that's uh, that's part of the game and the beauty of the game and you know, how is Jamil gonna respond in this sort of situation on the stream? And now he finds himself trailing. Although the last game, uh, his match with Oliver, he was down uh, seven two, I believe, and come back and won that match. So, uh, you know, it it tests you, and not only the skill levels and proficiencies of the game, but it tests your, um, you know, mentality and emotional uh, aspects, psychological aspects of the game. So it's uh, and that increases as you know, we get deeper into the tournament. So it's it's kind of a, I don't know, it's fun. It adds to the excitement. And uh, so we'll see. There's the forward anchor, but he's going to take the hit, which is correct, according to XG. Comes on out. XG wanted him to come down, but 5-1, uh, so that's the... Uh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, you can see those early PRs, 2-5-1 for Jamil, 4-1-1 for Julian, based on that one, uh, one cube error. But, uh, you know, Julian's had the better of the luck so far and leads 3-0. 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 5-1, 
you can walk outside the door and it's immediately your glasses are totally fogged up and it, a couple of times it's been so hot and so humid you walk out and it's just uh your arms are are wet not from sweating necessarily i mean it's an immediate reaction it's more just condensation um it's crazy and it, and it's funny because uh, and i'm digressing and uh try to get back to the match here shortly but just wanted to say it's amazing the uh it's so hot here but uh this place this higher regency has got some serious air conditioning <laughs> i mean it's you could hang meat in this playing room and uh tar and i will occasionally step outside just to warm up we didn't bring anything that had any long sleeves or anything and we'll step outside to warm up and then you step out there and you fog up and condensate up and so it's 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 fun <laughs> okay so here we go julian's up three zero julian's got uh you know a, a developing nice structure he's extricated his checkers he's got three back but he's got them on the 18 point now so uh see what happens julian's about a 64 percent uh favorite at this point in time Well, I'll just glance over to the other side. Uh, Gravarkin is leading uh, Zidane 2-0. And we have a four cube in play on the next game. So uh, they're trying to uh, to end this game in a end this match in a hurry. Okay, so uh, Julian in a bit of a blitzing position here. Jamil uh, just would like to get in and get an anchor and weather the storm. Great match, both playing under four. No double in a take. Julian's uh, thinking about it, but uh, Jamil obviously pondering the potential if Jim, uh, Julian were to send it. Now, that's a nice shake. Uh, he'd make the five point. He's going to have to give up the spare on the eight, or the slot on the eight. So now with, uh, Jamil needs to, to get in, preferably he'd like to anchor. And he can anchor. He might want to step up so that he can get out with sixes and fives, but then he's exposed with them being split. So I suspect uh, well, it's not pretty. He doesn't have a great three. <clears throat> Okay, so he just, uh, so again, this remains just big, no double, huge take. So, but Julian's going to look at it. I always like the Kit Woolsey always states the adage, every, every time you have a turn, you have another opportunity to cube. So you at least ought to uh, take a look at it. If I'm walking by, and he is all but wearing a parka, kind of a parka vest. I kind of, I was with Tim on this, although that worked out with the hit, although he would have hit from the three as well. But uh, I would have been tempted to split those checkers. Um, mm, pardon me. So Julian... He can hit the second checker. He has to give up the midpoint to do it, and he has a block in his home board. So this is a key role in this game right here. There's the two. He can make the anchor and then come down to the eight. Okay, so Z did uh, win that four cube, so 4-2 Zedenic on uh, stream two. 
Now, hopefully, uh, here, well, beginning with this round, there's some players that dropped out with three losses, and that'll be only increasing with in future rounds. So uh, perhaps soon we'll have um, some volunteer commentators that can uh, co-commentate with me and or commentate on their own on stream, too. So uh, we'll... Try to get some uh, input over there as soon as we can. I know it, it's funny, and people, uh, including us, uh, we watch a lot of streaming as well as do a lot of streaming. But uh, I know it's a lot more entertaining and fun often to what, not only watch the stream but to hear some commentary. And then, you know, without the commentary, perhaps it becomes somewhat boring. Uh, so uh, it's kind of the evolution, the involvement of. Uh, of backgammon streaming. Raj Zansari, we had him uh, last night. It was a great match. They both played about 2.5. He lost a match to uh, Sergei Arokin of, uh, of Russia. So it was just stunning match. I think their combined PR, combined PR was like 495 or something of that nature. Okay, that's uh, not exactly what uh, Jamil had in mind. Yeah, I would do that. That keeps, for the moment, three uh, three points in front of those three checkers on uh, on Julian's 18. But uh, so much for that. It was a slim no double and a big take, but after that... Uh, Julian's probably going to be cashing on the next roll. Mm, pardon me. I got the yawns here, although I did finally get a reasonable amount of sleep last night. 5-4 and make the four point. There's the cash. Yeah, he lets that go. You know, I, having had uh, no prior familiarity in any regard personally uh, from a backgammon perspective of anything else I've, I've been uh, impressed with Jamil's play here and uh, of course Julian's a, a, a known player to me and and I know him personally so but this is turning into a good we've been very fortunate so far this is round four that all of the matches that we put on um Stream one, uh, obviously we're we're picking, uh, you know, some good pairings. So we're putting good players up there. But we've had the good fortune of, uh, you know, having some very close uh, matches. Uh, you know, you're always subject to potentially getting blown out on a disproportionate luck match and so forth. But all of the matches that we've had on uh, stream one so far have been extremely competitive, very well played. And... Uh, and that's great. Makes for great viewing. Keeps me awake on the uh, on the uh, on the commentary as well. Okay, six five. So Julian's in a pretty good position, but uh, Jamil with a good roll here can have an equally uh, equally good defensive position i guess he's just going to make the well yeah i was going to say he could make the three point which she actually preferred but it's zero zero one to come out so he comes out now he's going to get a hit but julian has to give up the midpoint to do so now does he leave the block there and split the back or does he bring the second checker down yeah i'm a big favorite of these lower clock settings too gl it uh you know, it's not so much as to force them to play speed gammon necessarily, but it does, uh, you know, increase the pace to a degree. And and I've not heard of any timeouts yet. Uh, so I think the players adjust to it fairly well. Yeah, and it, it does expedite the rounds. And in a Swiss format with a fairly large field, uh, that's important, and and they were a little bit late. 
a little bit a little bit late getting started with round four here and i heard uh, patrick announce while ago that and, and this is not uncommon if this was true in at the istavder tournament in uh, istanbul in april which also uses a switch format and this ftbg system uh nine points they uh they forbade uh you can't take any breaks uh, unless you know it's an emergency they don't want uh <laughs> you know uh, disasters of physical nature or personal nature but uh absent um emergencies uh, you're not allowed to take a break and uh, you know these are nine point matches with pretty uh, short settings so uh you know, typically they're finishing in 45 minutes or an hour, maybe in, on occasion some of them will run longer than that. But uh, they're trying to keep on schedule. Yeah. And then, we will be playing round five at five o'clock. It will be the last round before the dinner break. After the dinner break, round, round six will be played at eight o'clock. And at 9.15, one warm up round, and after that, one speed German round. Players in the okay. warm up still alive, 12 players, and the speed German to 13 players. 9.30, we start the double. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Local time, Tim, is 3.41, so this is... Uh, Gulf Standard Time, which is eight hours ahead of Eastern, nine hours ahead of Central. All the players that finish their match, they can participate in our mini Bonanza section with different variety of value. Please visit our counter for more information. Visit what? Sorry, you should go here. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay. So here we go. Yeah, ZZ's up 5 2 on stream 2. Julian's uh, looking like a 2 3 back game. Not a whole lot of timing, though, to sustain it. His tire was just standing here, and she said, I've had enough of this. I'm going to step outside to warm up a little bit. Okay, so he's contemplating what does he do to this with this 1-5. You know, he, he might not. Uh, this is an interesting uh, Dalai Lama, as it were, <laughs> as a little play on play on syllables with dilemma but uh you know he could step up to facilitate getting out but he might want to stay back because julian may be cracking <laughs> excuse me <coughs> now this is uh, that's one option the other option is to make the two point but uh, uh this is the correct play according to xg now julian would uh Hopefully, uh, like to, you know, reestablish a second anchor on the next roll. Okay, so he's going to come down and step up, I believe. Uh, see what happens here. Exactly, come down and step up is the correct play. And. Uh, Julian's got a little bit more timing now, and uh, so he may not, he's not as uh, vulnerable to immediately cracking, so stepping up was right in that standpoint to uh, maybe facilitate uh, Jamil in getting that last checker out. Oh, dance. Now that was interesting, uh, or actually it wasn't a dance, it was cock die. We, uh, Tar and I were laughing and, uh, that these guys, uh, you know, if anybody <laughs> rolled a die off the table or anything, uh, 
it would be fun chasing them down because this is marble floors in there and uh those dice would bounce far and long okay so he, he needs to a couple of things one he needs to uh, step up if he can to get that checker there's the ace that he needs and he's going to step up and then play to the seven How are you, sir? Okay. Raj. Nope. What's happening? Still it. So far, so good. You want to offer any insights? No, sir. No. You want to say anything? No. Okay, Raj Jansari uh, joining me here. Hey, everyone. Now, you're obviously with uh, familiar with Julian's game, I suspect. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've not played him that many times, but he's a, he's a, he's a solid uh, solid player, you know. He's got a lot of experience in tournaments now. Julie uh, Tabo saying hi to Raj. GL Harvey saying hi to Raj. You got some fans in the in the audience. Yeah, Jesper, I, I have to pay, I have to pay these people, and then they're my friends. So that's, but still, uh, it's okay. Hey, hey, GL. Hey, you know, Julie. it's interesting. Uh, this guy Julian's playing Jamil Dow. He's local from Dubai. Oh, yeah. And uh, he beat Oliver Squire in the last round on on stream too. So, oh, wow! So uh, quite an a, accomplishment for him. Yeah, he's a, obviously a, he knows his way around the board. So this will be interesting. Uh, Jamil needs a six to get out. Doesn't get oh, it. And ooh, that oh, hurts. Oh, I was oh, going to oh, say, oh. Uh, you know, Julian faced the possibility of having a crack, but double four changes yeah. everything. Oh, interesting play that by Jim. I'm, I'm wondering if I would have brought that other four in without making the ace. But anyway, that's not... Um, yeah, you know, he didn't... Uh, he was offered a little bit of a, a jar door by the double fours from uh, Jamil, but then he rolls the 4-3, which doesn't allow him to escape yeah. one of those back checkers. So uh, Yeah, that would have been ideal, but... It's still, it, he's, you know, he just needs a six. He's, he's in very good shape because um, Jamil's timing's uh, not off. As long as Julian can get a six or a one, you know, one five to get out of it. Okay, that's a nice shake. That's a very, very nice roll, yeah. yeah. It's a joker, I think. And yeah, that's, that's, a, a, that's a poor reply. A nasty, yeah. So it's now... Yeah, he has to bring them in. As like they entertain, uh, at least contemplates shipping this, I would think. Yeah, well, you know, it could even be too good because if... Uh, yeah, it's like... Uh, too good here. Now, Julian needs to get a checker out. He does. No, that's but not, that's not that's the not one a checker he wanted out, is no, it? That's not a checker out. <laughs> He'd like to have taken that spare off the deuce out, but he doesn't want to give up the second anchor. Of course. Now it was a double pass at that point. I would have. I yeah. would have thought. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You should. You should really be thinking. Uh, you're taking your time. He's got plenty of time on the clock, despite the clock's being down to uh, 14 okay. minutes. Now he can get the. The fifth one out this time. Okay, so he's, um, you know, he hasn't got any wasted checkers. He can get an ace. He makes a five-point board. You know, and this would be a, a difficult cube for uh, for Julian yeah. to contemplate taking. Not only oh, yeah, with I mean, the lead, he, he, yeah, yeah, lead he with it's some, not a uh, game potential. Take. It's not a take. now with the ace made. You know, it's uh, it's, it's not really a, a proper back game. Oh, is that the link? Okay. Yeah. So he's thinking well, about he, it. Well, uh, he's uh, contemplated it and chose uh, not to. No, yeah. that's yeah, that's and that's. Uh, but he's going to have to. Well, you know, he, he could can actually, play it safely, but it he should have pretty he should inflexible. Have, he, sh he shouldn't have played it safely. He should really have just offered the shot there. You know, get it over and done with. Like uh, in effect, pay now. Yeah. Yeah. With with, with that broken. 
You can see he's really running his PR up with those um, yeah, there's a lot of deferred mis cubes there's there. a lot of missed doubles, yeah. yeah. Julian's playing a solid, solid 4.19 so far. Well, again, if he, well, it, interesting for me, I was going to say he didn't cube the prior roll, he wouldn't cube this roll, but... Uh, but he did, and it was correct, and uh, had an yeah. easy take, and a nice That's shake. A nice roll. Roll. He's not out of the woods, but that helped considerably. Yeah. That's an ace he wants, so that's good. Two. Okay. Oh, cock dies. dies. We were talking a bit uh, earlier, just before you joined. Uh, as a player, what what do you think of these uh, somewhat reduced time settings? Yeah, I'm a big fan, to be honest. I, I mean, the, the longer people have, the longer the, the longer they seem to take, you know, as well. And uh, it, it does it does clog things up somewhat. So, I mean, I I myself often, you know, take up more time than I probably need to if, if it's on the clock. Um, but I think it's a good uh, it's a good way, especially with the triple elimination. You know, you, you don't with the Swiss format too. And, you know, it's uh, there's a lot of matches yeah. to be played, and a lot of rounds to of be course, played. Of course, yeah. Oh look, he's got uh, oh, uh oh, he's, uh -oh. Uh, now this 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 is this is problematic for Julian here now. Nice shake too. Yeah, well, it's not ideal. There were a lot. I was not ideal, that but was one not, of his, not bad. That was one of his worst numbers, I think, apart from like. Make any mod on the back, but he has uh, to, there's no choice. He has takes to, the, but uh, you know, every every takes every the gap chance, away, but leaves you that's true, yeah, on every the chance back. of leaving another shot here. And there it is, yeah, and and potentially another one after this. So he avoids yeah, the first, he's got to uh, get that six out of there, I think. No, I, I think I he's think got you got to go out oh, with only have, six checkers left. Yeah, you, you you have to because you're it's, it's subject to the BG triple, with a yeah, set. Yeah, there you go. Look now, now he's concerned. You know, oh, was I misplay? Oh, misplay! Oh, oh that's, that's huge, a huge blunder. That's huge, a very big blunder. He had very a six one. He six, took the six off. He and just didn't took take a, the ace off. Yeah. That's but actually, a I mean, terrible, huge right. it's a legal play. It is but legal. It's a huge blunder. blunder. Yes, yes. So, uh, just total oversight. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's not going to help his PR much. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So anyway, it's four all. It's the G. A, so uh, uh, we got a five. Or no, a five the other way. Match. Yeah, we got a five point match now. Yeah, five point match. So. But what, and, and we've all done that, yeah. you know, kind of a little brain freeze and oversight. And you I'm sure we all have. Kick yourself so later. Like, how mo on earth? Mo yeah, most of them, if it's not recorded, most of the time we won't even know that we've done that. So. <laughs> wow. How many people have we got watching? 164 at the moment. But I know early, the first round yesterday, mm -hmm. which was like at, what was it, 5 p.m. or... Yeah. No, it was in the evening, 8 p.m. Right, right. We had like close to 300, uh, which was great for a first round match. Sure. Is that right? I, Julia, it's interesting that you noticed that because I noticed that the PR didn't change very significantly, and I was surprised that. A, I think Justin just assumed he was going to play the six-one and perhaps transcribed it oh, wrong. Oh, I see. Has that been re? Has that been remedied now? It looked like he went back and corrected it corrected now, though, because yeah, yeah, it, it looks like blew it. it up a little bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was a good. Uh, good observation, Julie, and, and Justin now obviously caught it, and now he's gone. He's catching back up with the uh, XG analysis of and course. has yeah, them yeah, paused makes, while they're doing so. Makes sense. Yeah, no, that was a... <laughs> was a that was what, I mean, yeah. any transcriber would have just assumed he was going to uh, take two checkers yeah. off, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Jamil may not even realize, even now, that that's what he did. I don't know if anyone's, you know, so... 
Yeah, I mean, Justin's correcting it, but uh, your point's well taken. Jamil not not have believed <laughs> or well, yeah. ju- realized what the delay was but yeah. uh, but i mean if if he had if if in that little interlude they you know someone had pointed that out to him, maybe going forward he'd mm-hmm. just take that little bit more time a little bit more care because he's got plenty of time you know he, even though times are reduced there is plenty enough time here exactly he, people sometimes get get worried about um about the time play quickly not everyone but uh, people do but there is plenty enough time yeah, GL, that is just an old transcribing in, in his business bubbles states. And Raj and I kind of implied that, you know, a transcriber just can't believe that <laughs> that wasn't too off. We will continue around 5 at 5 o'clock for the intermediate and for the market as well. 6 o'clock, you will have your dinner break. You'll have to read the comments out to me, Bill. I can't. Uh, I can't see the comments. I'm sorry. Are there any comments? Are there any more comments? You'll have to read them out to me. I yeah, I can kind of keep up with it. Yeah. Eh? GL should have been here. It would have been good. Good to catch up with him. I've been meaning to sort of meet him in person for some time, but he uh, he always slips through the net. You're asking if there were any comments. Julie says, Raj, put your glasses on. <laughs> there are a pair of glasses here, yeah, actually. I think, I think they're bills. <laughs> I read better without them. All uh, right. If I lean over, I could probably read them, but uh, I'm concentrating on this, uh, this exciting match. Kind of interesting, you know, early on in, in the first game, very small uh, sample, of course. I mean, Jamil played uh, superbly, played like under two mm. lost the game <laughs> but uh, and yeah. julian had sent him a, a pretty bad early cube that uh, so you know julian early on was playing seven or eight but you know small sample and he's carved that down to a good number now yeah, and this, this this i don't like this double hit there it's i mean well he's fan so it's it's worked out but but um yeah he, he, anyway and again, are. he's in the uh, universe, so there's a double here. It's a very, very skinny take, and you can forgive him for passing that, you know. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's kind of interesting, uh, and, and again, you probably know Julian better than I do, but, uh, you know, perhaps he's uh, trying to take advantage of uh, maybe uh, a little less experience by Jamil if he's read him as such, you know. Could be, it could be, although... Um, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's possible. I think Julian's just, you know, he's playing, he's playing his own game. He's playing very solidly. Look, you know, he's playing at a world-class level. It's admirable. It's a good double fives. Well, that's a super four, two. That's a really, really great role. Now, now Jamil's got four checkers out of play. And he's at a big disadvantage here this is not a great spot to be in for Jamil. julie has got full control out there he's got checkers waiting to make really good points okay and that's so that's a particularly but, uh, poor role in this yeah, position but he's still, for... you know, he still makes the 11 point which is an asset um and that's one of his worst roles you know and yet it's still you know um, does something. Oh, he's thinking about hitting on the ace, but I don't think he. I'm not sure he needs to, but. Entering 13, uh, 13 pips up. Yeah. But all of this is just you know, it's quite awkward for Jimmy. But this is straightforward, just bring the. Get, 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 get away from that 18 point. We have to respect that. No one is allowed to talk to them. Downside will be played. We can move it in a little closer if you'd like. <laughs> What's it done here? Is it played? Or oh, what did he do with the two one? He he came. Oh right, yeah, right. Six three. Okay, I think you just make 
you just make the five point here, right? Six three. Yeah, it's clear, pretty clear. Well, it's a blunt to anything else. You just make the five point. Always worrying when when players take oh what is this? No. 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 This is really okay, he needs wrong to, idea here. He needs to perform here. Look, he leaves so hit. many so many opportunities. He sends here. one back and removes his uh, well, slot yeah, on, and, and, but on the, 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 the but the, the, the main point is his structure's gone. That's beautiful structure he had. Is is in pieces even even with that great five six from the bar look you know suddenly his structure's all all gone yeah it's, it wasn't, a, it wasn't hit a, another yeah for sure in 24 23 it's got to play split those up at the back yeah split the back oh yeah, yeah that was a that was an oversight i think julian i mean he did think about it but then he decided tacking was one. Right again, again. I think this is overplaying the hand by hitting there. You know, Jamil can just just hit him. You know, hit him inside the board. Now he's you know, Julian's structure's gone. He's got all these blocks kicking around, and suddenly Jamil's got a good game now he's mm -hmm. all right that's oh, a super super two. super shot but you know if he hadn't got that shot there he could have been facing a really really good cube there uh, and all of this because of that um that six three so not making the five point yeah so this uh Oh, a dance. That's yeah. uh, you see this now. Uh, second checker in all probability is going back. Yeah, I mean he's got five, four, five checkers back, so he's not cubing just yet. But you know, it, won't, it, it may, may not be long. May not be long. You know, look at this. Yes, that's uh, oh, oh <laughs> another, nice roll there. Another joker there, Julian. So I think he's going to have to put. Two, no, he's, he needs to put two in the air here, really. Sinbad. Sinbad. He, he, Can you come to the registration desk, please? Uh, you know, he should have put the other, the other checker in the air as well, I think. Two in the air. Just, uh, yes, but yes, uh, I like that. 22, he has to. Okay, so oh, okay. Uh, let's see. yeah, it's a it's a pass. But, oh, he's taking. Zdenek Ziska won on stream two. You know, this was a, this was a clear pass, and now he, you know, he can he, he, Julian could potentially. Go, go, what's his, what's the role four three? Well, I mean, he's got to just point on him, hope he fans, uh, and. Um, Which one do you point on? Uh, oh. <laughs> Well, you you got to you you want to point on the one that's first back, so you you want to point on the four point, there, not the three point. But he's, he he didn't do that at all. And the reason for the cue was, you know, to 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 try and well, I mean, he, he, he should have been passed. I mean, he took so so once he's taken, now you just want to go all out for for a gammon, win the match with with this with with those you know those checkers stuck on the 24 and he had the uh he had his seven points anyway going on here uh, no, no, I no, I is, yeah you don't want to be moving three to two like that really it's a nice a shake yeah no it's a great role you know you make the three and four points and suddenly you're back in it was although it's very easy to come in 20 every time his favorite to come in 20 numbers there we yeah. go 
He's got no choice. He's but come in 13, and 12, he's got no choice. He doesn't want to leave those eights and nines, but he's going to have to. Yeah, I mean, he has nothing else to, to yeah. do. Sometimes, sometimes no, when you get no, these plays, no, no. these these diff, you know, these ones where you know you have to do something that you don't you don't, you don't find palatable. You just take a few extra seconds, but you you do it anyway. Yeah, you just waste a few seconds. Okay, oh, no and that's an no, uh, no interesting harm. number. It's going to be a double shot, just where the yeah. double shot is. Yes. Yeah, you can't bury the checker, so you just you know, yeah, play the you, double you, shot you with you a come, single come block. Out. I yeah. think so. Then, you know, if you do get hit, you may well have some returns. And, you know, even if you get hit, your favorites come in. You might not get hit. Oh, you, you did. The long you shot. Did. Yeah. All right. Now, um, now Jamil seems to be back in some shape. Whoever want to take a break, this clock has to be always working. Nobody is allowed to stop the clock except for emergency. I don't know if you, I don't know if listeners heard any of that in the background, but this tournament is a, a no breaks tournament, which is kind of unusual and um, is not in line with the, the new rules. But um, the rules also do provide for uh, TDs to be able to um, amend. Um, the, ge the general rule about uh, there being one break allowed for matches, I think, um, up to is it nine points? I can't. I, in front but of you know, but, but a, there is there is uh, the, generally there is a provision, a right for players to have one break um, for this length of match, one five minute break. It's um, the same uh, policy they employed in. Uh, Oh, that, was terrible, that was a terrible. That was a horrible roll by Julian. That he, yeah. he needed anything above a three just to just to extricate the checker. Two one. Please, you have to come. All right. So me. now four three. He's, he's got a he's got a choice here. He, he may not. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I I I, I think I would have went to the thirteen. To oh, bring that's, both ooh, look at this, Raj. I know, that's horrible again. Two, two rolls in a row yeah, where yeah, you real can't roll greater than a three. Anti-jokers are horrible. And, you know, the opponent's sitting there with a two cube as well. Right, he's just got to run out. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, that's that's nice. Because, Is that nice? Yeah, because, I mean, I might because have... he's, um, oh, he's been hit. So that's not so nice. That's not so nice. But when things go wrong, at least he's he's still back on it. I think the point about that was he got full outfield coverage there. Julian had to bring his checkers out. And if he hadn't got a 6-5 or, you know, some big double, he was going to be in a lot of um, a lot of jeopardy there. But look at this. Ace, deuce. Oh, yeah, nice, ace, nice, yeah. nice number. Yeah, yeah Jamil suddenly um, found a little bit of... Rolling form. Now I think I'm going. To, well, we'll see what he rolls, but I think I'd keep the spare on the ace, and he has no choice. Yeah, he's got no choice here yeah. because he he may very well if he if he were again to roll two small numbers. Would be played five o'clock. Down five at five o'clock. Choice. I may have to. I'm oh, getting tired of it. Well, I may have to relocate that speaker. <laughs> oh, it's a, that speaker's face is just so loud when Patrick talks. It's an easy one. <laughs> GL in his rolling form. Speak to you. Okay, Julian finally rolls a number larger than three. He he managed to survive that double gap up on the yeah in, he did, in his he did home very, board. He did very well. He did very well there. That's a hit. That is a hit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, so Jamil's now thinking himself about a redouble, and it's, he should really do this. You know, this this score he didn't doesn't need much encouragement with a guy in the air with a broken board. His redouble in a so very thin pass so on that didn't. Uh, it was a very big double. Anyway, but now he's. Uh, yeah, there's no choice. He's just got a stack of awkwardness stack that, that the Julian was facing a while ago by rolling small numbers. Oh yeah, thanks. Yes, yes, before I, pointing I, out the um, move, but look the breaks um, vision. That's right. Yes, that's the standard. But TDs do have the the ability to override that. Um, it's very smooth running of a tournament and with a triple elimination event you know it's um it, it, it's 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 reasonable to to sort of implement that because uh, you know we've all we've all sort of seen instances where players will just go off supposedly for a five minute break and you know they disappear for 10 15 minutes and that really can throw these this type of tournament into disarray because they can't do the draw for the next round until everyone has you know completed their matches so yeah understandable now julian's down to two minutes 38 Let's so see, he's getting uh, down time so he's gonna have to just be aware of double that take I, I i don't i would be hesitant to send this one but uh, technically it's a redouble and a take but yeah, I don't think he's going to find this, this one. Okay, here's the... Uh... Well, that's nice, he's found the, the, the two to the six. That's really good, good play by Jamil. Good on him for finding that. Oh, right. Now, now here's the... Uh... Yeah, I wonder if he's going to find this, because he really, really needs to hit this. He really needs to hit off the... Yeah, he's found it. I thought he would, yeah. Yeah, he's got a strong ball. He... Still, you know, Julian can still win small gammons here himself, you know, for the yeah. match. So, yeah, that's there's a great a, role. Ooh, yeah, super. Now, he could hit the where, second, where does, he, where does he play the six from? Now, you see, he should have played from 21 to ma to maximize, um, you know, and, and leave that, that those two, you know, disconnected in... in in the opponent's book because he'd have he'd have had more numbers to hit this um this other blot. Right, he'd have missed it anyway, but you know he's he's got to maximize his so what is this a full one? Okay now he's gonna button up here. Fair enough. Okay. okay. So otherwise he leaves too many maybe can't buy a six. He's really looking to hit this to try and win this gamble. And he's still not got it, but he's got a yeah, that's right. Go to the fourteen. Right, Jamil's really got to perform here. He's in some danger still of losing looking for the match. Six, but now he's a favorite to hit this. And he yeah, does. Right, and Gammon's got significantly. I mean, you know, he can get in. He's Good. That's one of them. Should still be able to save. There's a few rare gammons floating around out there, but not. Uh, yeah, he's going to go for it. Of course, yeah, well, he's got no choice. He has to just bring bring it down to the ten. And let's see if he can perform here to save his bacon. Nope. All right. All right, now I got two to one, yeah. Okay, slightly awkward, but he's a little he's, awkward. He's but still happy with his position overall. Yeah, just uh -huh. fine. Still a bit awkward, but uh, Jamil just. Uh, Making a career of staying on the bar here. Yeah. Or the, yeah. the board. Uh oh. 
Oh, well, there's this two of them, so just take, yeah, one. that's correct. All right. Oh, whoa. oh, oh, oh my <laughs> word, what a roll. What a roll. And Julie's only got three off here, so, you know, he's suddenly, suddenly, if he doesn't come in pretty quick, he, you know, in a little he could he could soon there's a point yeah. now now, now, he, now he's, he could he could well find himself okay he's come in but still he's got a break now he's got a gap in his board i'm i'm tempted yeah. and it is a redouble it's a small redouble will he find it no he's not finding it okay just as well he didn't i guess but, um, yeah, he's got enough time. Oh, I three, okay. No, I think he's minimized shots here, Julian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minimized shots. He's thinking of lifting that block from his four, but then he just leaves. So many more shots. Well, he's, he's got to roll an ace or he's going to lose this game. Um, yeah. Mm. High likelihood of losing the game. Dice. Thank you. Yeah, and well, with that gap on the four as well, that's not going to do any Yeah, favors. he's what, 20, 20 pips down. Yeah, and three checkers off. Julian's but, trying to help him uh, by rolling yeah. a 2 1. <laughs> Nice. Uh, two off at least. Six more. Nice. So he needs uh, he needs some assistance from the dice here. That's not it. That's not it. But now look, if he gets a double five, double two, he can take take four checks off. He really needs to stay even all the way to give himself a chance. Okay, that's still even. Get a big double. Nine, seven, so. Uh, Jamil's going to need a workable set here. Mm. If he can get two checkers off, he might still have, at the end get one roll for. For a double, for a big double. No, that's so. Uh, that's, that's a yeah, killer. That's probably and two sets. That's probably it. Got to have a set so right he now. He needs it now, yeah. Otherwise, it's all over. And only certain sets will. Uh, no, uh, that's not going to work. It's ugly. Okay, so it's all over. So okay, so that's seven four to Julian. And at this, well now. Um, Jamil's looking to cube very early as soon as he's got an advantage and he, he should be but he's yeah he's been a bit shy with with the cube so um they're both quite low on well not quite i would say quite low two minutes plus is, is plenty enough time Five twos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just run. Lee. Yeah. It's the mid. Nice. Lovely making that five point. Oh, a nice reply. Nice number. Now this being the fourth round, I was just doing some quick math in my head. After this round, there'll either be 10 or 11 undefeated players. Right, right. So on four, four wins. Oh, it's a beautiful roll by Jamil here. And he may well be he's looking to, to double this. He should, I think. I suspect uh, with the score. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm 
It's yeah. got to be a double. He's really got to double this. Yeah, he, he does. He's there it is. He finds it. Double and easy, it's easy, easy take. Of we'll course, see. Yeah, this, this score he has to is actually Gives most, Julian, most uh, things. Are kind of a free for play for the match here. Yeah. 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 All right. Slightly awkward, but I just think three, to three down. And yeah. yeah, I think this is... This is nice. Now needs a five to make the full prime. He's not here. Oh, that's a good. That's a good response there. Making yeah, the, makes the, the bar. bar. Yeah. So stop some life yeah. left in this. Right. And Jamil needs a, a five prime here. Mm -hmm. All right, he's got the prime, and he can come he up. So he should. It. He should really he step. Makes step the right up. Six prime. Step up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's got the, the full prime now. And now he's looking to. Um, well, he'd, he'd love to win a gammon here, but, but this, it's going to be tricky from from here to win any gammons, but... Okay, so the uh, the so, T's the T's rolling. Well, look, I mean, you know, Julian's got to hit to give himself a chance. He's he's probably got to got to hit, but he may, he may not want to because he'll he'll see that he'll be shooting at a blot. Okay, good, 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 because he he knows he doesn't want to lose Gatman's, but he wants to maximise his own winning chances for the match. So good play, Julian. Oh, oh okay. nice shake. Okay. So now you see the gammons, gammons come up. Okay, they don't win in the match, but he goes, you know, goes favourite eight seven up if he can, if he can get a gammon. But okay, nice hit. And you see, Jabil doesn't have too much uh, play here with that. Okay, that's a great. It's a three two. Ah, okay. So he's got to hit him off the edge of the prime. He hits loose. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. He's got to get him off the edge there. That uh, enhances his uh, gammon potential. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure it does. I right, just make it and... Okay. I'd just like to walk this home and close them both out if possible, but there's the anchor. All right, so that really helps Julian's cause in terms of saving gammons. Right. Oh wow! Wow. So there's some life now, uh, in this game. Yeah, there, there, there are some uh, come ugly up, come disasters out there. Yeah. Oh, that's one of them. Oh, that is one of the worst. You might have been better off just not coming in at all. <laughs> well, you would have been better off, obviously, you know, just just not coming in at all. Wow, oh, this is this is this is tough tough play here. Tough play. You're supposed to split at the back here. Wow. How many how many people uh, that that Well I the right place is split but I I you know m I, I, I a lot of players, you know, would not find this is a tough play to split back here. Yeah, I mean, it's but, just but you so... Should, uh, you should, because, you know, the, you're, you're hoping he's going to crack. And if you're stuck on a 24 point, you're not going to be able to take advantage of it. Take you advantage can just, of You can just play from the back there. But to split... Uh, See, now if you... so split, scary from a game yeah, perspective. Of, the, of course. Of course. Mm. Okay, so I'm 
comes down to like yeah, he needs one to roll key very, roll for very, each one very of them. small numbers here. Awesome fight is really massive. Oh, no, yeah. that's ugly. Yeah. Very ugly. That, if Julian gets a six here, that's it's all over, I think. Or a one two. One two is a very good number as well. Yeah, I think this could, could be that now. This uh, very possibly could oh, be... Uh, still not quite there. Not quite there, but still overwhelming. Well, he, he had a lot of trouble earlier rolling uh, yeah, greater than a three. Now he's got to roll greater than a four. Tamil so gets an ace here. No, he doesn't. Yeah, that's a good one. So <laughs> he gets out. The tease of the dice gods, right? Yeah. All right, Jamil, I think you, uh, so you're drinking at the last chance saloon bar here. Okay, I'm being borrowed for a minute. Okay, thank you, Rod. Huh? Okay, so uh, very possibly uh, this is it. So again, um, after and it appears Julian will win here, he'll be one of 10 or 11 players with uh, four and zero records. So uh, it'll be interesting. And what time is it? 426. So we've got about 35 minutes until uh, we begin round five, which will be the uh, last round before a short dinner break. Uh, is it a long oh, dinner? I said short. Looking at my schedule here. Somewhere I took a picture. There it is. Yeah, round five starts at uh, at five. The dinner break is at seven, and we resume play at eight. So hopefully we'll get a couple of short matches on the streams and have a little longer dinner break. <laughs> Looks like uh, curtains here. Julian uh, Thank you very much. advances undefeated. Thank you, Raj, for sitting in. Oh, pleasure. So uh, 30 minutes, and we'll have round five beginning. So uh, don't wander far from your uh, TV, computer, or whatever. So uh, I'm going to step away and uh, take a little stop and see what's going on. Try to get the brackets as soon as they're posted, and we'll be back soon. Thank you. Hi Tara. Hi, how are you? Very well. Great to see you. I know you're very busy working now, but <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I don't feature too much on no streaming, yeah, but it's always uh, it's always an yes. honor. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It was nice, Rod, to see you commentary alongside Phil. So. In this one. Yeah. Oh, how about yeah. that? So that's cool. That's very uh, very nice. What a great pairing. Oh, yeah. uh, thanks for everything. Oh. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you so much. This one, uh, the last one is uh, cute. I should, uh
Trying to be 
Now these guys. Uh, Steve Nelson became Chinese. Here we go. Yes, yeah, Steve Nelson, an American living in Hong Kong. There they are, Ali and Florine Bobak. Uh, well, they say Alexandru Florine. Maybe Bobak's yet another name. I don't know. I'm sure Tara asked him how he wanted his name. So Alexandru Florine. Ali Singh Bellinay. Here we go, Toby. Uh, dueling six ones. <laughs> Are you commentating on Steve Nelson? No. You want to? Well, no, I just saw it. No, it's, we don't have a commentator over there. Not yet. So he is a 2 3, and uh, certainly Red has to step up. All players who want to take the break, they are not allowed to pause that clock. And this is a fact to everyone. So please, we need to okay. rules. Yeah, that helps. So the question is, does he step up with two or does he step up only with one? Usually after a, a three one, um, if three one wasn't the first roll and two three, then you would have stepped up with the two and played the three down. But here we have already a, a four sequence after six one, six one, three one, and three two. Yeah, this is basically forced. Basically forced, yeah. Dance now. Very double. unfortunate. Double, huh? Or is he too good? Now, so, uh, first of all, here's a decision. And, uh, he's looking at the position um, it doesn't have a lot of uh, priming potential but it has a lot of blitzing potential yeah there are like 11 men in the zone yeah he outboard his opponent there's a checker on the bar he's uh, aiming for the second checker with another with another blot and uh, this is a double pass perfect decision by both Okay, so one zero, Lauren. Yeah, that doesn't affect the score too much. So always on the beginning of a match, you want to think, uh, what does the score do to your cube uh, strategy? So if there's the strategic part in backgammon, according. Uh, to my thoughts is mostly the cube and then sometimes in back games most of the checker play is more tactic stuff and technical stuff the old McGrill concept is uh, fighting for the good points this is what's happening five three make the five huh Absolutely, and you're making the five from eight to five, yeah. And uh, there's another five, but it's uh, too early for a blitz. You would probably just uh, just go thirteen eight. You don't want to operate with too many blots, but you see. Uh, the way he's doing it is very me methodically. Yeah? He uh, he's doing the right method. The three covers, not the eight. And now he's thinking about his five. He has two uh, two options. In the rankings, a B is a buy, so it's uh, losses, wins, and buys in the rankings. So basically, in backgammon is mostly about points, making points. Points define a position, and uh, very often you only hit to avoid that your opponent make points. So a thirteen eight was uh, the best choice, and uh, he found it. Six four. Second. Good roll, good move. Double one. Almost forced. There's not many choices. <coughs> uh, 
<clears throat> so, and now the question, the 6 is clear. He's playing 13-7 and he's, uh, now he thinks about the 2. And he's setting up it already. He, uh, he thinks now about uh, slotting the 5 and slot of slotting the bar because if he slots the bar... He only wants oh, to play right. with a it's single a, block. It's a XG likes a safe play because you're outboarded. Exactly. I can see this very well. Okay, I can see this. So the hit with the four is obvious, and then it's which uh, six do you play? So uh, this is like uh, looking for too much contact. Uh, he's up in the race and <coughs> running could suit his plans better, but he chose like that. Double two is a great shot for Ali. Saving both plots, advancing in the position. So, uh, Ali is clearly a favorite now, and he has to think, uh, even now, when the point has come, that he wants to cube. Uh, for instance, if, uh, he had it, if he had cleared his 16 point, if these two men were already on the 13, yeah, I think he already had a double. So, he wants to get rid of one of the points, yeah. And if now with all the blocks in the board, this might be a good opportunity. A good opportunity. Yeah. The, uh, well, he can go from, uh, what is it, 16 to 6. I like this play. I like this play. If he gets, uh, if he gets hit very often, he gets uh, several, uh, several reshots. Is maybe a stronger board, and if he doesn't get hit, he is very close to a double. Maybe he has one already. Yeah. So, uh, Ali can't hit. Ali can't hit, so he wants to prepare so points. I, th I think he sends it now, huh? Slotting is a, is a good idea. I think it's very close, but maybe not he, yet, because... He, he, even if he cleared the plot, he still had to clear also the midpoint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are two things to do, and usually you double before there's only when there's only one thing left. Yeah. Bakar Matakesvili is in the house watching. Hello, Bakar. So now, now it's a different thing because the plot also helps him maybe to clear the midpoint. Like 5-3. I would have spent a little time to think about it. Double 6. So now uh, all the racing lead is gone and there's no need to double now. There's no need for any double. Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah. it's a good reply. It's uh, it's good to lose your market here because uh, you don't have a... You, he had no double before. Losing your market always means you win. Okay. Big pass. So, uh, one to one. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't hurt. He's probably counting. Counting is never wrong. We have a little bit more information as we see the pip count here. But um, since he has enough time, he, he should count. After he did it, he will probably decide it's a pass. Now what, Toby, here, the uh, in this tournament, we're yeah. using the uh, somewhat lesser time settings mm -hmm. than most. We're mm -hmm. using infected. One and a half minutes for the bank in 12 yeah. seconds delay. Yeah. What is your uh, feeling on that? So uh, I remember when uh, clocks weren't common at all. 
hardly any tournament had clocks like 10 years ago. Yeah, it's like one of the newer inventions. So whenever uh, you put something new into the game, um, you have to do it mildly. So the uh, two minutes time bank and the 12 seconds delay were something um, all tournament directors thought uh, is almost everybody is capable of this. Now we are used for the clock uh, since like five years. It's a regular thing, yeah. And um, I think we can uh, we can make it a little bit tougher, yeah. It's uh, it's good for the schedule. I I like the format of three lives, and it it helps this format to uh, that a field of 200 player like we have it here is uh, is is playable. We we need to fit a schedule and. Um, yeah, it makes the uh, it progresses the tournament right faster it, it without seriously penalizing the customary play of time. So. Yeah, uh, well, of course, um, you want uh, the the benefit of extra time is you get more time to think. You know, the the negative is um, it's harder to play a format like this. And actually, you want to play a format like this, like uh, the three life, for example. Um, uh, you're less dependent on the draw. Yeah, in the most other formats, yeah, um, uh, the the draw is uh, is a very decisive part, and uh, with a with a multiple live tournaments, yeah, it could be also a four or five live tournament, yeah, um, the draw becomes less decisive. This is one of the important things in all the sports. You want the draw not to be decisive. Right. Yeah? Right. And uh, to help the schedule, you need to squeeze the time maybe a little bit. Yeah. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, it is a newer thing. These uh, 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 w when the clocks were invented, they they need to be an agreement about a, a delay and the time bank, which everybody could participate and everybody uh, could make it. And uh, now, since uh, since five years, everybody is fine with it, and uh, we can go a step ahead. You know, we could uh, make it a little bit more uh, more tough for the players. That's in every competition. No double easy take, not a huge error. Ah, uh, but, but yeah, that could be also, I think it was close to a double, but because of the lead, if it would be zero, zero, probably it, it was a double, but um, so the problem, he was, Black is leading in the race and has more points, but um, you're basically doubling on a bright future. So he had not many market losers. If you don't have market losers, you can delay your decision usually. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Ali, Ali, of course, knew that it was a very clear take. Uh, he entered, he didn't get hit. And now he rolled a joker. And basically now he is in charge. It's a uh, nine away, seven away. He's holding a two cube and he has to think when he wants to ship it back. It's a little bit too early. He's still down in the race. He has more of a priming structure. He does have some market losers, but it's not too many. It's like four to dancing, maybe. Double six not entering on the four but these are all sequences it's not like a single role he can yeah, decide it on a he, needs a, he needs a sequence mm -hmm. yeah but he's doing a good job thinking about the position i think they're both demonstrating that yeah. So far in this yeah. match. And yeah. They have a good use of their time, you see. Um, so, what does he want? Of course, he wants to make the four point. Yeah. He can't do it with that roll. Uh, so, he wants to make other points because he wants to block his opponent. He wants to keep him behind. Yeah. The only point he, is, he can make is uh, the eight. Yeah. The second thing is probably he doesn't want to leave a target. 
The thing about this, this this way gives him four builders for the four. I see, I see. This is also a consideration, yeah. But uh, since he is holding the cube, yeah, he doesn't want to leave that many fly shots. Yeah, it's like nine numbers, I think. This is quite something. But were he to get away with it, he could uh, almost re-cube in cash imme ah. immediately. Eh? I'm, I'm not sure, because he's still 20, uh, 20 pips down. His opponent has still three, True. three spots to enter. So now he's very, very happy. He's not getting hit. He has a double shot. He really likes his choice after 4-6. And uh, it was also the computer's choice, by the way. Mm -hmm. So, Florin is thinking uh, if, he, if he should stay back. But the problem, if you stay back, you also leave a double shot. You can get pointed on, yeah? And you have a problem of leaving the next time. And this is actually a bad roll. Believe it or not, it's it's a bad roll because uh, he misses, and he's still down in the race he's still after double six. Even after the twenty-four even, pips, right? Yeah. All right, that, it doesn't help him in the race, and he's not hitting. Yeah. And if he stays back, which he probably should, then he's he's burning a lot of pips. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So um, the concept didn't change. He still want to make points because he's looking for a hit and he wants his hits effective. So the only point which brings him benefits is a two point. And then the the remaining two are seven and five. No? Yes, I think so. I think this is. Um, it's almost forced by logic, and he will see it once he sets up. Uh, I think first of all he's counting the race. Well, we are provided with the pip count; he is not. Yeah? yeah, and of course this is one of the decisions where he really needs to know it. Yeah, if he would be up, or if it would be, if he would be even. Yeah, it was would be clearly right uh, to uh, to to leave the uh, leave the back anchor. There's a small, there's a small consideration, you know, uh, like if he goes out, he would block, for example, uh, a couple of rolls where he would get shots he wouldn't see otherwise. Like uh, for one, he would get a direct shot if he uh, advances his anchor from uh, uh, 21 to 15, or for example, five three, uh, double five. Double three, he benefits here, and uh, he's probably thinking about this stuff, yeah? But uh, once he figured out he's 33 pips down, um, the little extra it gives him uh, to get a couple more shots right away in the next sequence, yeah, is uh, is outnumbered uh, by the by the big miners in the uh, trailing in the race, yeah. Too easy to cut contact for his opponent easy to cut contact too often his opponent cuts contact and it's not about one sequence he has time he's holding the cube yeah. so uh, sometimes it's very easy to count because both have the same starting position yeah and um, well these are his options but, obviously he could go all the way yeah, we, we but now then have he's an still error. down yeah. nine pips, right? Um, yeah, and he would leave a shot to pop. And he would Basically, leave a shot. this is not an this is not an option. Yeah, it's just a graphical feature we are seeing here. Mm, yeah, and so now, if with those two he's played, then he can play the other two to the yeah. two point. Yeah, and um, play it that way and leave these other ones back. Ali does it very uh, after his uh, after a good method. Uh, I can see he figured the first two out. Yeah, because exactly. whatever he does, he can't leave he a shot. Uh, he's he going for the best distribution, and now uh, the last two are decided. And he will he will know the race, and he will know he needs uh, more contact. He's holding the cube. He can use an extra point. He's not wasting anything. Yeah. Oh, and this is it. He immediately Terrible benefits role. by a good decision. Six yeah. five. Six five yeah. can't play safely. Exactly. 
it's a it's an 11 distance from uh, from blood point and uh, yeah these are the least uh, the least shots only 13 and um, the other play would be also 13 but uh, this also it's easier to play safe very unfortunate very unfortunate uh, he missed a double shot so, he missed the uh, shot a <laughs> little bit of a irony here he rolls a perfect three two which would have made the five but he can't afford to leave the block yeah so. right yeah 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 it's uh in, uh, in many positions it would be wrong just not at that one because uh the, hi the hits just cost him the match uh, the, the game the hits just cost him too much yeah the price was too high Here you can see also the benefit of the of the cube. I mean, Black would be very happy if the cube would be still in the middle. Yeah, like uh, if you if he uh, if he had a roll like five two or six two and he survived it, uh, he could just cash the game. Yeah, and um, now he. It's all up to Ali. He has another three two, and he still can't do it. Still can't do <laughs> he it. Still can't do it. But I guess so, you just play to the eight. Huh? Here you could. Yeah, or six Give to one. Shot. Um, yeah, the, this is one of the uh, this is one of the decisions in this position. When is the point where you leave the shot? Yeah. Right. Um, and uh, usually, very often, the decision are there reversing trends? Like when you volunteer, when you uh, is there like is your opponent still getting better? And here your opponent is already prepared yeah your opponent is already prepared so he's not getting better he is at his peak yeah so um that's uh often not the best decision to give a shot okay. then because the shot immediately wins yeah but at least it it helps him to continue the to continue the game if he if he survives the sequence uh He's a he's a very big favorite now. Yeah. Even if he's looking for something else, he won't find it. <laughs> yeah, there's there's nothing else. There's, yeah, that's even, the way. even close. Yeah. No reasonable options. So slot the ace. Yeah. So he still has to solve. Uh, make the. He still has to clear these. Uh, the three. These, these points, the eight and the seven. There is some short equity. There's not much of raise equity, but there's some short equity. Uh, immediately bad numbers like uh, double six. And that, of course gives new bad numbers but uh it's still the best player i would say it clears something yeah good choice by florin i won and this is not an easy decision even though the computer says it's very clear but um, you know when you when you open your prime your close board your shots will be less efficient yeah and of course you're losing in the uh, in the remaining race, but there's not much of a remaining race here, so you don't lose much. Yeah, but also, much, uh, like you say, it's it's kind of a tough decision. But Ali has uh, several bad rolls in his cup on the next roll, so you you yes, you don't also, want to leave. Yeah, and, so uh, you're just gonna play from the six. Huh? Right, and and some of the bad rolls, like for example, double three. There's a huge swing on double three. Yeah, like. Uh, if he if red would leave very often you would get pointed on yeah 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 or uh, double threes double fours as pick and pass and by staying not only do you take advantage of his bad numbers you even increase his bad numbers you know if you were to leave with one and then he rolled double four 
Very yeah, true, Bill. Very, very true. If yeah. you don't leave and he rolls double four, it's a disastrous roll for him. The good thinking, good thinking, yeah. good thinking. Yeah. Anyhow, Florin made a different choice. He wants to preserve uh, his inner board. As I said, this is even though the computer says it's clear, it's not an easy decision here. And uh, at this point now, he's very happy with his decision. One six is a great roll. One six is a great roll. Yeah. Hmm. No bad numbers for uh, Ali. Yeah, very right to bear off. Very right to bear off. Yeah, he has to leave with the next. And uh, now he has uh, the, the gap on the four and the five means all his fours and fives play to a bad spot. So he's killing a lot of pips. And it just happened with a 5-1. So the race is less dead as it looks. But even though red has to roll something. Red has to roll something to keep it open. Another 5-1. Okay. So those uh, void points are going to start uh, potentially hurting Florin. Yeah, but no matter how bad he rolls, I mean, Ali needs to perform himself. Without a big set, uh, yeah. Like, this is the last bad roll. He has an odd number, he can afford uh, one miss. Double three was very good. But he's still a very solid underdog. But one double could change one, the whole one large thing. set. <laughs> could change everything, yeah. Needs it soon. Yeah, <laughs> right. He's <laughs> running out of time. Yeah. With every checker bad off, there are less rolls. Yeah. So you better roll it now. Got it. Read two. It's still possible, but way harder. Okay, so now he he has to take two and preferably four checkers off. Exactly. Uh, all, all the excitement is gone. That's a that's a good shake for a non double. Well, he he gets Five, a three. He gets a shake at it. Three numbers. Three numbers, which is eight percent, eight and a fraction. Yeah. Doesn't work. No. So now it's 4-0 for Florin. You know, and it's interesting, and they're both playing very well. 1-5-9, 3-2-1. Florin, you know, Ali's playing better, but 3-2-1 is, is a very good number. Yeah. But then he's got 3.6 luck, so... Uh, yeah, I... Um as I mentioned earlier, you know, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't in a match, I wouldn't give too much on the numbers uh, because uh, it depends a lot uh, what kind of decisions we had. Yeah? Right. We can have uh, a lot of hard decisions and uh, the players just look awful if everybody only looks at the numbers. Uh, and sometimes there are more standard moves, there are more uh, common <laughs> positions and uh, some people look brilliant. But uh, they played very well. They had uh, a couple of uh, tough decisions. Overall, I wouldn't say it was too hard. One, two. So uh, back to the score. Um, the pros uh, wouldn't say it's 4-0. They would say it's like uh, 5 away, 9 away. You always uh, call the score like you're facing the target. Yeah. What is what is it you need to reach the goal? Yeah, this is how you have to see the goal, and this also uh, helps you to find the right cube action. So um, 
uh, red is a little bit careful with doubling in po uh, in positions uh, where he also can lose gamins or he could see maybe a four cube. Um, or in other words, he would be a little bit more conservative and. Uh, Red really likes to go for the swing. So if there are some gammons in the air, 6 3 looks yes. like running home. One blood safe. One less thing to, uh, to be worried about. One less thing to be worried about. And on the other. Uh, I, to, I don't know. On the. Looks like the other match just ended. Probably with a high cube or with a gammon. With a score four away, eight away. Yeah. So, what's here? Ali is on roll. Ali is on roll. Uh, he has an anchor. Which is uh, not... Uh, but he has a strong forward game. He has a strong forward game. His opponent isn't anchored, so it means there are some gammons in the air. Yeah. Yes, can't blame him. It's a it's a good action double or it's an early action double, but uh, it's an early action double. Six four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ideally, he wanted to have an anchor, Lauren, but. If you can't have an anchor, maybe you just get a chance to break the contact. And this is what he's uh, trying. And this gives him the most equity. This gives him the most equity with his move. So 3 1 4 2 would be the numbers here he was rooting for. Two three. I understand he likes the anchor here, but the anchor also keeps him stuck a little bit. Yeah, he's the six sixes are blocked. So. It's a close decision. It's a close decision. Now, um, yeah, it's a very interesting territory we are in. Yeah, Ali makes another good move. Brings a brings a builder active. All his numbers are working now. Black has a 6-5. Um, and... A lot of potential for Ali here. Yes, and... Uh, now he is stuck with his anchor. So... Um, he didn't... Uh, he considered it too... Uh, too dangerous to leave with fifth, five, six before, but now he would be out of trouble if he did it. And the dice bail him out. Yeah, but <laughs> again, after after double five, uh, he's happy with his decision. So in this sequence, it's better to have the anchor than uh, to be down in the race and have no contact. Yeah. I think he wants to link up. Uh, he was winning less. Ah. Yes. Yeah, he just uh, he's killing a lot of uh, he's killing a lot of gammons. He's winning a little bit more races. He's still getting a lot of shots, so uh, it was right with double one. Now these are very common positions. Uh, this is there yeah, no surprises. Uh, experienced player knows how to handle them. Yeah. Red wants to clear the points as good as possible. Uh, Black wants to make his board and is waiting for a shot or opportunity to run with a high set. Basically now Black's winning strategy is only waiting for a shot. So since he knows he has to wait a little bit longer, 
he can prepare his board Six two clear from the, the rear, right. clear yeah. from the rear, right? Exactly. Yeah. Stay flexible, I would say. Yeah, and as there's still time, uh, you could just slot the ace. But uh, nothing is really a mistake here, unless you you open a point. And you're in a board. 6 1, right? It's a nice roll. He was getting a little ahead of himself. Yeah, so action can come up soon. There's some bad uh, sixes, there's some bad fives, especially the combination of, of them. Not a great number, but it's not a bad number. Clear something. Yeah. Yeah, might. this five is clear, and uh, yeah, I might save the six, but uh, okay. It's a decent move. Yeah. Yeah, that's not exactly the position he wanted to have. And 6-3, uh, so it's again uh, a kind of clear from the rear, so the, uh, you, the highest point you can, uh, you can play blank is like the, yeah, you play the from the 5 because uh, you can't play the, can't leave a shot and you can't play from the 6. Absolutely, you can't go out. He's just pointing on you if you do it. Yeah, so not a great sequence, but he's still still a very solid favorite. Yeah. Uh, well, now is the time. Now he he definitely don't want to destroy his board now. And I think this is something here. So there are here. many uh, many sixes that don't that don't play for Ali. Exactly, it's only like uh, six 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 one and six two which play safe. Right. Yeah? And uh, there's also like uh, five one and four two. So um, he wants to keep his board efficient. And it's getting it's worse and getting worse for all. Getting uglier and uglier. Huh? Yeah. The only safe play is uh, clearing the five. Exactly. This is the only safe play. And and you can't do anything else with no, you, uh, you Florian 20. having a five-point board himself. Exactly. You still have a tremendous lead, you know. And uh, well, the worst thing can happen to you is to to leave a shot later. So why do it now, you know? If this is the worst thing can happen to you, if it can't be worse than that. Why do it now? There's, uh, there's no. Um, well, and you have he has a substantial lead, so why why jeopardize that? Play safe and hopefully, uh, exactly. Lauren will have yeah. to run, be forced to run himself. You know, if nobody gets hit, uh, he's winning the game. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just so uh, don't volunteer when there's no. Oh, I don't. And like uh, that. that's a. That's a pretty big mistake, which is unusual for Ali. Well, maybe he saw that coming, but but even then, put himself he, he, in a better barrel. He, he, he would have actually; uh, it would have been blocked. Uh, <laughs> he would he not done that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now it's a very very close race. Wow, six five is a is a big number for Florin. Six 
So now there's nothing to do but play the dice as they are giving you. Ali has a more hurtful, uh, more hurtful uh, gap. But he's a guy on roll, so this gives him an edge. He's a guy on roll, and it's not so easy to uh, to give a, a funky uh, four cube for Florin because uh, he will see a eight pretty soon. So he's basically uh, basically doubling out. His cube strategy. And this could be like a... Getting close, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. Maybe not quite yet, but certainly the potential for the, the following role. Yeah, I would I would spend oil. a little time thinking on it. Uh, he has enough time. Still, he has eight minutes. Yeah, in all likelihood, he he's going to have minutes. the recube he, here after yeah. the double. Ah, okay. Three five rolls. to five... Yeah, now he is thinking. He just caught the perfect moment to think about it. You know, were it a center cube, I, I would certainly send it. But a recube, uh, I might consider <laughs> pause a little longer because there's the potential to get an eight cube back at you. Yeah, but he has to he has to give the eight cube back as an. Um, as an underdog, yeah, and it doesn't go for the match at all, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and three away, nine away is not hopeless. Is not hopeless. Three away, nine away. By the way, is like uh, the the trailer has the lowest has the lowest take point. Uh, at the score in a nine point match, three away, nine away. Because at um, at at two away, he would he would risk the match, but it. Uh, so this is like. A I like it as he takes his time. He has a lot of time. Well, they both have demonstrated kind of judiciously deliberate, you know? It's, uh, it's a very, very good cube. And it's a very, very good pass. So, and now... Um, three away, nine away. Trailer's take point is like... Uh, 17 point something percent. The, lo uh, the lowest take point in a nine point match. So... Uh, Ali can really take a lot here. Very well played, 6 4. He makes a point. He wants the Gammons. He wants to. Uh, Certainly visit. as a trailer, that's. Yeah, the, this is, there this is be the some move. There's debate on the 6 4 otherwise, but as a big trailer, you've got to uh, make the two points. And everything else is really wrong. I mean, uh, everything else is really wrong. He's, he studied the moves, he knows it. Double six, uh, so six four and double six. So um, he holds both midpoints. He has an inner inner board point. Um, his opponent is stuck. I think we are very very close to a double here. We are very close to a double. Ali will know what to do. So the first thing is uh, why you 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 will not run here because uh, you're you're trailing in the. Yeah, this is. That's not the most winning strategy. Let's equalize the board because you might hit a fly shot. Yeah, you might hit a fly shot and. Um, you know, in the worst case, you stay back, you still have an anchor. 
So twenty. Well, in this, I was thinking if you run like this, you it makes you a bit more vulnerable to uh, exact to the uh, exactly. to the cube. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 I mean, that just uh, entices him to send it then. Absolutely, absolutely, and this is not necessary to take this with the lead. But of course, he still. If it would be a, a gammon free position, he would really like to go to Crawford. But uh, it's far away from a gammon free position. Oh, wow. Lauren thinks it's too early. Too early to pass on this. He's giving up some equity here, but uh, of course, he has a lot of. still a lot of winning percentage. Double six is a forced move. They all go to the two. It's not such a bad roll because uh, now the race is reasonable. If he can escape the last checker, he has achieved a lot. Yeah, this gives him more gammons. Very good play by Ali. Two one. Mm. It's uh, the worst for the race Out and the worst the for the position, yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is not what you want to do because you make yourself more of a target. And uh, once you're on the bar, you're losing more gammons. <laughs> this is not the strategy at the score. This is not the strategy at the race. Yeah. This is a good number uh, now. This is a good question. number. Moves, is that a good number? Moves a lot of freight, but it doesn't clean up any of the blots. Mm -hmm. It's very good for the race. It's very good for the race. He can attack. I would say it's a good number. Yeah. You wouldn't throw it, it back. <laughs> no. He leaves two blots, but I think it's uh Big equity up, and especially now, Whoa. he can close him out like with 6-4, for example. I'm oh, sorry? Almost. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Almost. I thought it almost. was there. Yeah. This is actually a, a, a bad number again. This is uh, actually a bad number again, because he has no closing, uh, closing numbers anymore. And... Uh, there was nothing worse than... Uh, double 5 was maybe uh, worse. Yeah, do you, uh, yeah, you got to break those, do you lift, though? I think so. Yeah. Ali is in great shape. He's winning st still a lot of gammons. Good technical move. Good technical move. And now he wants to get the man on the 18 home. Right. Keep it moving. Yeah, very good. All this, all this technical stuff he knows very well. So now it's no, it's no tactics involved. There's no strategies. It's only technical things. Yeah. How to execute Just, the position, how to execute the yeah. position. And he knows how to do it. Make zero mistakes on this. There's quite a load of gammons here. There are, and, and you know, he, uh, Alexander Florin, taking that uh, perhaps ill advised cube, or taking in an ill advised fashion a cube, yeah. he, may, he may well lose four here and let uh, Ali right back into the game, into the match. He really wants to come in. Oh, and this is a this is a great number for him. Yeah, <laughs> this is a great uh, number. Gammon, this is gammon saver, probably. It helps him a lot. It helps him a lot to save gammons here. Yeah, he can even have a little bit of contact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is a move. Good finder, Florin. There's the candy. An eight. Wow. <laughs> Any ace. Six three is a move is, on. The good number to save the gammon, but it's not. Uh, it's not a number which can uh, can win him. The best number to save gammons is an ace, of course. Yeah. The double is very big for Ali. Bring them in. Yeah, Florin is a, is a favorite to save the gammon. But if Ali rolls a double. Oh, wow. and he rolls a double. So now this is. Well, he there's only one another set of five. Yeah, yeah, there's only one bin number left for black, uh, which is another set of double five, and has to be followed from. And Ali from has a double set. Right. In yeah, that yeah, process. yeah. So it's only like uh, six in twelve hundred ninety-six. This is not very many. This is like half a half a percentage. <laughs> Okay, so um, he dodged that bullet. So he, it's he seven the gun in himself. Seven away, three away. Now, now we have like a seven-point match, and the uh, Lauren leading four zero. It helps a little bit to uh, to understand. Um, that the score is coming back and coming back, you know, no matter how long your match is, at the end it's always like a five or seven point match and uh, you have to remember the scores and what to do. Ali's next mission is to get like from a, to a four way or less score. Oh, very, very bad shake. 35 entering numbers and uh, over 20. 20 hitting numbers and uh, he's dancing. 6-4 is another bad roll, but of course not as bad as the double six before. Yeah. It's a forced play there. It, it's a good, it's a, it's a good move and uh, uh, it's a little bit forced by logic too. Yeah. Very right. And now you could duplicate sixes. He sees it. Lauren knows his moves. Yeah. <laughs> the bar. This is a decision. This is a decision. Yeah. And you don't want to lose an undoubled gammon. And this gives him a. He's winning the timing battle. So uh, this makes it right. To prime, uh, to prime the opponent. And do you step up here? Let's see. Of course, absolutely you do. Yeah, absolutely, sure. absolutely. He will figure it out. He will figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a play. Okay, so he gets to hit and make the uh, twenty-one point. Mm hmm. Yeah, Florin is a little bit spoiled. He's a little bit spoiled. Uh, he's rolling very, very well, but. Uh, he still needs three more points, <laughs> and uh, it's not over until it's over. You don't win a match by rolling well in the middle of it. You need to seal the deal. <laughs> For the master, 
So, this looks like Hidden stepping up. I mean, these are the two things he... Oh! Right, he can go for the gammon. He has too many men in the zone. There's no rush, basically, to step up. Everything is active. And uh, he really likes two points because it it makes him Crawford. His opponent can't double him his Crawford score. And uh, it's very hard for him to touch the cube. So winning a gammon is a great idea. Fantastic. So yeah, he found it. found it. Ali, you better perform now or it's soon over. And he was actually thinking because if he is losing a lot of gammons and he, if he's winning a lot of gammons, yeah? This could be a reason to to cube. It could be a reason to cube. Yeah, this is why he thought. This is why he spent time before the roll, even though he had a losing position. Yeah. But uh, he's just he's just not lo uh, winning enough gamins uh, on his side uh, to make it any right. What he checked. So four men back against three men back. Four point board against four point prime. The hit is clear. And also this is uh Florin likes his moves. I don't see him making any other move. He showed it before, like uh he likes his kind of moves. Oh bar. This would be a surprise. I don't think that's you, Florin. I don't think that's you. If you find the move before, you will find that one too. Right, and he did it. 3-1. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. I think it makes Ali immediately a favorite. Oh! Be and this is very bad. This is very bad. Very difficult. This is a for... horrible shake. Yeah, yeah. Be extremely difficult. Ah, even no, it's not air. so bad. It's not so bad. I thought he had play another one. I mean, he's still. Uh, uh, but this is now. This is what he's looking for. Yeah, he wants. This is what he's types. looking for now. He wants it, these types of positions. Yeah, if, if he rolls a three now, it's too late. And if the opponent. Doesn't roll a 5 or a 6, it's too late also. Unless it's like 2-3 or 2-1. And there it is, 4-1. 4-1 was a market loser. Top number. 4-1 yeah. was a market loser. So, you could still make the 3 point. This is a good reason not to lift it. Exactly. That's the way. Yeah. And of course you don't want to leave a double shot. Yeah. Very good method. You found it. This is the only play. And here it is. Yeah. And now Ali is in a position where he's winning a undoubled gammon. Uh, yeah. Which is really not what he wants it to score. So whenever he doubles, he doubles him out, yeah? I mean, he wants a point, but also, uh, yeah, he has to play on. He has to play. He, he has to get every point he can get. Or three, pile them up. Pile them up. Mm. <laughs> Not what he had in mind. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, he had a lot of covers, like uh, there are 50 numbers for the four, and then there's additional 3-6. 
And actually double five would have covered also. So he had like 18, half the field was covering. Half the field was covering. So, you want to keep control in the outfield. You don't want to be attacked. You don't want to give uh, these these dilly builders on the two uh, purpose. Oh, Ooh, Florin, you see the decision? He five. sees the decision. The five is clear. The five. The five is forced. clear. Yeah. So then, and now, then decide on your ace. Right. What's with your dilly builders on the two? Yeah, they have only they have only one place to go. And there it is. There it is. And five two wall. Ali should think about the cube now. Absolutely. It, it's a it might be still too uh, good, it might be still too good, but on the other hand, uh he can still lose this game and uh one point brings him to an even score, to an even away score. An extremely difficult cube for Florin to take. Yeah. So now, There's now so, he so find many, the perfect spot. He so found many gammons in play. He found the perfect spot. It's still nearly too good. It's still nearly too good. Yeah. But his op his opponent. Oh, 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 oh. Florin. Mm. Had a lot of scores. His decision would be clearly right and. Uh, Unlimited match or money game. His decision would be clearly right. Outboarded with a uh, you outboarded your opponent and uh, even race and your opponent has a check on the bar. Sure, why not take this? But this is uh, this is not uh, even score. This is not a money game. This is a match, and you have to defend a lead. And you get no bonus for the cube. Like um, there's a, there are no sexy four cubes you can give here, and you don't win really on any gammons. You're just losing on the gammons. So this is Tonight. why it was so wrong. Ah. But of course we know uh, we know more because we see the. Yeah. He could have played it safely, but uh, <coughs> dupes he, the two. Yeah, and with two blots in the opponent's board, uh, he, he's not inclined to play safely. He likes to to cover the outfield as good as he can. I mean, especially with his technical uh, moves, Ali hardly makes a mistake. This is... Uh, One of his fields of expertise. Mm -hmm. So we are going to see more interesting decisions because uh, red is not hitting. It's good for the excitement of the match, but it's very bad for for Ali. So what's the killer number? I think the best number is still sixes. Is still sixes. This is uh, far away from sixes. Yeah, this is pretty awkward. You don't want to hit him with those blots in your home board necessarily. But, yeah, uh, well, but he doesn't have anything else. Uh, at least you could. Uh, I mean, you. Uh, you're just a victim staying back. So uh, you have to advance to the 13 and hit him. And now the question is, should you lift? Should you lift the, the check on the 5? Or should you go ahead? And I think you still have the stronger board. It's one of your last chances to make a point. Yeah. And it's so hard to bring the position home. So um, that makes it clear to, uh, to leave the inner board blots and advance to your own 10. Mm. Such a hard position to win. 
And just to recognize uh, one named Pete, who I'm not sure who that is, but Boris Dektiar, we're both uh, quite familiar with. So, uh, good morning. Yeah. Welcome. Hi, Boris. Good friend of us, yeah? From New York. We played in the same shred. Very nice guy. Yeah, well, uh, I love Boris. He's a great guy. And he's doing very well. He did very well in your tournament, he's right? Had, uh, he's done well this year. Done well. Two in the air. Nothing wrong with that. He'd like to cover that three-point. Can't. But he's got a, he could safety something. Yeah, and... Uh, I mean, so far, this horrible position works out for Black. And finally, Ali did something he wanted. Black somehow gained structure. Black can free the, uh, the struggler on the 23. Not sure it's so bad place this uh, if you want to hit it why remove the bad pla the worst place checker why remove it why remove it yeah so double 2 would have been a good roll anyhow but less good if he hadn't hit Yeah, how to decide this? How to decide this? So, two moves, they're probably both really close. First he plays from the 21 and then he can either switch to the 15 or just advance to the 14. Mostly about counting, counting shots. Three one, not what he wanted. Make the thirteen, I guess. That's a good thing. To advance a point, an advance point means like he secured some pips. To uh, uh, this helps him to uh, for the fighting against the gammon. This helps him to fight against the gammon. But um, he is happy he didn't get hit. And Ali really plays a position which he, which he doesn't like. Now, how does he get the gammon out of this position? How does he get the gammon out of this position? Is it really... Is it... Uh, Ali's plan is still to get a gammon out of this position. But he can't play too loose when his opponent board is strong. What's going on here? So there's a force read to play. Mm -hmm. Looks like the three point, yeah. Yeah. Rock a lot, solid a lot move. Of forced bad numbers for yeah. uh, for Florida. But not so bad since he has the uh, I mean still wants to hit this checker, but he would have preferred to have something something back in Black's home board. Yeah, you could lift it because why leaving the shot? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't really help him. I understand a little bit because uh, you don't want to make a, a, a point heavy. And now he gets everything he wants. This is a real joker. 6-3 from the bar. Now there's a lot of gammons in this game. A lot of gammons. More every roll. Yeah.
not a good technical move. You don't want points when it's about double. clearing, right? And uh, you don't want to get hit, of course, with but any double. number. Yeah. And he played off that eight to take away the double four yeah. jumper, too. Yeah, well said, yes. So this is one example, for example, uh, to look at error rate. Uh, like if you uh, if you have a lot of, of these moves, like uh, in these bearing positions, uh, it's uh, it's not easy to uh, to play a high uh, performance rating. Uh, it's uh, you have a lot of bear offs, and uh, if you have uh, if your opponent is long on the bond, you just have to shuffle the checkers around. Uh, you know, it's interesting, this match obviously uh, is going to be extended, perhaps to a three-point match, right? And yeah, so most likely we're looking at a three-away, five-away score. The next, the next, no, 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 at a, at a three-away, three-away score. Three-away, three-away. Three-away, three-away. This is most and, likely. Uh, <laughs> both are getting fairly low on time, so it's going to be... Uh, they may come under some time pressure too. In the yeah, f f I don't see any time pressure with Florin. I mean, he had like five minutes for uh, for three points, and uh, I would say that very often uh, a three-point match is like two games. Yeah, but he he's under a minute, and now he's approaching a minute. So. Yes, uh, Ali. Ali spent his uh, spent a lot of time, but also he needed to spend the time to make good moves. He needed to fight. Yeah. Now he has to switch. Now he has to switch to a different mindset. Um, he has to focus. What is the match score about? What kind of position he likes? Uh, he has to make a lot of pre decisions. Yeah. Because he can't he can't figure it out all over the board anymore. As you said, he's getting low on time. <laughs> yeah, one of the strategies in these kind of positions is you don't want to make any points. You want to play in a way that the, the good doubles, which you need anyway, play best. Four, five. It looks uh, all reasonable. I've succeeded. Only a dog to get. Uh, yeah. To save the a, G. A big dog. Yeah, big dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you just gotta count what saves. So this is only double five and. Uh, this is only double five, double six. Could he have played that so fives worked? <laughs> yeah, he could have spent a little bit time yeah. to figure it out. There was no rush for Florin. He has so many, uh, uh, he has uh, such a convenient situation on the time bank. Uh, I mean, it looks like unimportant, but he like he, he could uh, he, maybe he could have doubled his chances or g give him fifty exactly. percent more chances exactly. to save the game, and you know, so uh, it would have been worse to spend a little bit of thinking on this. They're gonna take a no, a they, they can't play, take breaks, so he's oh, probably you're just not supposed to taking take a break. A, yeah, yeah, right. He's probably taking a stretch or whatever, or he needs to go to the toilet. And also, it's a di little bit difficult, uh, different situation in this match because uh, there's a dinner break anyhow, so they they wouldn't keep up with the uh, they wouldn't uh, uh, destroy the schedule. So the rules are here: no breaks in the tournament. Uh, but since this is uh, before the dinner break, they're not keeping up the uh, they're not keeping up the. Uh, the tournament by uh, by a small break. They're just keeping up us, <laughs> and they don't care about that. And they're cutting, they're cutting, right about it. Cutting into <laughs> our short dinner yeah. break. Yeah. Oh. Ray is joining us. Yeah. How, how are you doing, Ray? Um. I'm winning sixty percent of my matches. 
Oh, I'm still a world champion, though. Uh, Ellie? Yeah. Yeah. And, um... What is your record? Uh, Julie you said... Uh, yes, I'm out, unfortunately. Julie said... Uh, that we yeah. that we can't be heard. That is was this? early on. Very that was early on. Your okay. Mic was off. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Didn't Second know minute. about that. Yeah. 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 Oh. You know, it's interesting. I mean, if we look at the, the numbers there, uh, you know, Florin. And I'm not sure it's Florin Alexander and Alexander Florin. I don't know, which, but. It should be you know, the, the first name first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, but you can see half of his uh, equity loss is those two takes. You know, he, he's uh, yeah. playing very well. Exactly. I mean, he also had smooth rolls, we have to say that. Um, but uh, basically he had like uh, two frisky takes. Yes. Yeah. I and like frisky and he, and takes. No <laughs> two frisky takes. He was up 6 0 and now 6 6. Right, uh, right. And a lot of uh, in match plays about the score. You really lost. Uh, you can be a great backgammon player. If you don't know about the score, uh, you will look bad in, in match play. So uh, now it's a three point match we are looking at. And uh, I will uh, shortly explain the, uh, the basic strategy of a three-point match uh, to our spectators. You want to you wanna double very early and you don't want to take too much. You don't want to take too much. It's uh, whoever, whoever scores two points goes uh, to Crawford and uh, the opponent uh, has to win basically twice unless he's winning a backgammon which makes uh, the guy who wins two points here a 75% favorite. Yeah, This is why you should be more conservative uh, with your takes here and more aggressive with your doubles at the score. So you want to pass and then double early in the next game so you can get the crowd. <laughs> <Yeah. right? laughs> <laughs> this is... Uh, this is true. I mean, basically, uh, you want to you wanna win first hand and, of course, uh, you're not you're not passing on everything but uh i mean uh, as a reference for like money you pass a lot of you pass a lot of cubes which you would take for money yeah yeah let's talk about this tournament it's a fantastic tournament here i mean it's uh, almost 200 players and uh, one of the great things is um uh, backgammon has a, a uh, has a great Iranian community and uh, unfortunately uh, these players are locked up in their country yeah but they can visit uh, they can visit the Emirates and they can visit Cyprus and uh, we we get a uh, um, many attendants from Iran and um, they're very nice people they're very good players and uh, this is good for backgammon this is good to see them here this is good to know they're in the competition and uh, they are certainly suffering the most under their government. We so, have to worry about Florin is back. Florin is back. So he so the one with 49 seconds? Yes. Is it 49 seconds? I thought it's four minutes. No, oh, 49 really? seconds. Oh, it's... It ah, saying. now I understand. Oh, is it 49 seconds and yeah. 12 seconds? I thought it's like four minutes and... No, a uh, minute and a quarter up yeah. there. 40, oh, one, 49 uh, seconds. No, that can't be right. That's 12.5 yeah. and that's 49.4. No, that's a minute 25. Because it shows milliseconds. Not all clocks show milliseconds. Oh. This is a clock showing milliseconds. So this can get a lot of players confused. 49.4 yeah. to 125. I didn't pay attention yeah. to that. I didn't understand it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that should be enough for a three-point yeah. match. Oh, oh, oh. oh man so what is your record are you out uh, i'm out unfortunate yeah 
Ah, this is why uh, I could join you, you here. Join me. So you're qualified <laughs> for the last chance. I am qualified. I'm also qualified for the doubles, uh, which I uh, wouldn't have played if I would be still in the tournament. Yeah. yeah. He probably you, doubled poorly in a few three-point matches. That's what the. <laughs> <laughs> You doubled too early in a few three-point matches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or maybe I took too much. Oh, <laughs> maybe okay. I took too much. Yeah. Okay, there's uh, Ollie's apparently got a sprained ankle or something. He's kind of got it wrapped up and hobbling a bit, but he's uh, re-entering the room. So we're going to resume here apparently very shortly. Yeah. This one guy's playing two and a half, two point five. Ollie, yeah, uh, he he's superb. Oh, really? He's okay. a very. I mean, that's not surprising in the least. Oh no, him. I I've never heard of him so. Five three. Extremely strong. Okay. Consistent. Consistent. Yeah, I mean that's another thing. You know, a lot of people can play a two or three sometimes but they can't play it all the time yeah the uh, consistent players are there. Uh, right like in these uh, uh oh the data we have uh from bmap uh ollie shows uh consistently great results yeah i would say like uh these bmap things are a little bit like a, a like a driving license uh you know they show an ability but um in a tournament, sometimes it's diff uh, different because uh, you understand you have to play your opponent and sometimes your opponent uh, doesn't understand match strategy or just is on auto-take mode and then you have to delay your cube. And uh, so in a, in a tournament, uh, you, you're sometimes forced to adjustments to perform better. So... Um, but uh, these PMIB results, they say something. I, w I would keep them, uh, I handle them like a driving license. You know uh, what he's capable of, yeah? He has proven it. But uh, in a tournament, uh, sometimes other kind of decisions are needed. 6-5, very strong move. He wants to blitz his opponent. This is the best he can get with all the blots. Double 4 is a nice, monster. Nice, monster nice. return. He wants to make the point and he's doing the force, I guess. Yeah. Because uh, the force are already good for the anchor. Right. This would be my move. This is a... I think this is a very strong move of Ali. Or just another strong move of Ali. And now the question is out, and he answers as yes. Yeah, he doesn't want to get pointed oh, on. He's dupl duplicating the threes. Yeah, for sure it is. He's up in the race. He has a stronger board, but his opponent has threats. There were like fifteen shots. Two one was additional. Six five was additional. Of course, here yeah, on the other side there were also like double five in the inner board. So quite some numbers. Asking Mrs. Bubbles. Oh, Denise. Hi, Denise. Uh, I think I play with Conrad. Ah. I think uh, Conrad, uh, my Austrian friend who is living in Sweden. Now he has a monster of a position. He can win the whole match in this game. Yeah. It doesn't need much to do it. And if, if he picks up yet that third, then he's in really a commanding. Right, and even more, uh, more of his strategy is to uh, to pound his opponent on his own ace. Uh, he wants to close him out. That's what he wants. <coughs> so this looks like a switch, and then there are two more. And this looks like uh, the nine. Yeah. Yeah, the, most the most, the most, most builders, the most builders. What do you say, Ray? Well, he could have un. You know, he needs a three to come out and hit over here, so he didn't need yeah. that. Three. Well, he wanted the maximum number of builders for the three points. Yeah, right. I don't know if he would. 
So for some... I thought it was someone else. All right. So uh, he, he wanted the three, but he's also not, uh, not happy about the position, even though, yeah. Ali must hit, of course he knows it. No surprise here. Yeah. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, be this good. is his worst. I think so. This is his worst. Double six would have closed. Double five would have closed. Yeah, double five would be like a super joker. Yeah. Yeah, that was ugly. Let's see if he can roll a three. He doesn't have to. He rolls another set of fours. I get <laughs> a six four. Uh. Ali is still a very, very big favorite yeah, he to win the game and to win the match. But that's how backgammon is. There was a roll that killed him right yeah. there, basically. If he would have rolled double fours again. Yeah, double four is not so bad anymore because it... It would go to the right, that's what I would do also. You don't need necessarily the closeout. Right, so go ahead and lift it. Right. And then you can pick and pass your way home, maybe. Yeah. Now he's got his fives duplicated there. Ollie's only had about... 10 shakes to hit that third checker too. And <laughs> it's probably 2 to 1 because it uh, gives him the most numbers. Uh, the most play if he doesn't escape and the most numbers to escape. This was yesterday's joker. This is very unsatisfying for Ali, the 6 1. Very, very unsatisfying. This is very unsatisfying yeah. for Ali. <laughs> yeah. This is very, <laughs> very nauseating. Very for unsatisfying. Yeah. Yeah. What do we do here? Now he's way down. So uh, hmm. I think the uh, the the midpoint still does good for us. So there's only one f one f reasonable four left. Yeah. It's all about this roll now. Basically, it's all about this. I mean, it's yeah. it's a re whip. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, right, <laughs> right. And he right. He heard me. Oh, he snapped right. it up so fast. Oh. Well, uh, uh, this Eight is uh, this is easy to calculate because if he if he passes, he has like uh, twenty five percent in the match, and if he has like more than twenty five percent in the position, it's an easy take. Wow, look at it. And of course, this is just a stone cold winner. If Jim. Had yeah. the fives, Shake he hands. Saved up yeah. fives, all that no time. reason okay. in rolling. So he did it in one. What a match. <laughs> congratulations, congratulations, Ali. Ali, yeah. 231. And uh, tough loss Florin, for Florin. Yeah, and he played very well. He had those two. And he Two also bad takes, otherwise he'd have been playing less than three. He found great cubes also. I mean, his cube handling is... Uh, his take side was not so great, but uh, he found great cubes to double. Yeah. So, uh, very good. Here he is. So, uh, we're going to take a break until 8 p.m., which is an hour and 20 minutes. And uh, round six will resume. Yeah. And we'll try to, and I think uh, Phil texted me a while ago. Phil's out now. Yeah. So uh, I'll host stream one, Phil will host stream two. So we'll be looking for co-commentators to assist us yeah. if you're available. But you're yeah. going to be playing, well, that's 1030. 10, 1030, right? yeah. Okay. So uh, anyway, folks, uh, hour and 20 minutes from now, we'll resume. So uh, take a little break with us, and uh, we'll talk to you all a bit later. Thank okay. you. Okay. Good night. Or not good night, just hmm? uh, I said good night, but it's not really good night, just I'll see you later. I guess. How's that? Okay. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I'm gonna go and stay. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. Are some of y'all gonna be here for Are some of you going to be here for the next hour or so? We're gonna ride out and get something to eat.